Warning. The following program would determine the life or death of forever a movement. Please, sit back and enjoy the show. For it could be the last. In a few hours, every single seat in this arena will be filled. Here to witness the final chapter of Forever A Movement. Yeah, about that. I've been doing some thinking. We've come so far, done so much, put in enough work here for multiple lifetimes. And what, we're just gonna kill it at the end of the night? I'm starting to think that that's a little bit short-sighted. We came here to do a job. All this planning, all this hard work, for every drop of blood we've spilt. It was for this very night. And when it's all said and done, that job will be completed. Yeah? And then what? We ride off into the sunset and live out the rest of our lives and live happily ever after, singing kumbaya around the campfire? Come on, Steve. You have to know that it's not going to go down as easy as that. Whether the people hate me for it, or whether they come around to see the bigger picture by the end of the night, it doesn't matter. This is bigger than any of us. It has to be done. Ah, oh, give it a rest, would ya? All the work and none of the glory? Besides, there's three of us here. I say we leave it down to a vote. Come on, Pride. Tell him. Bash. It was decided when you came searching for me back in 2020. The entire reason this alliance was formed was for right here, right now. There's no turning back. <laughs> Why? Could you say so? Who gave you the keys to the castle, Stigma? Who made it so all of us could be here tonight? You know the answer to that. Seems to me like I've got more say here than anyone. Is that right? Well, come on then. Let's hear it. Come on, Mr. Undisputed World Champion. What have you got to say? You better watch your tone, or I might just have to pull double duty here tonight. Bash, enough! Extinguish these immature antics at once! Stigma is right. While there were many threats to our operations, this is where they all lead. The final night in the history of Forever A Movement. Ah, oh, screw this! Do you think he's going to be a problem tonight? Bash is many things, but he is no fool. His ego may cloud his mind, but his vision will be clearly set on the bigger picture by the end of the night. So this is it. For over two years we fought side by side for the same common goal. Pride, we couldn't have done it without you. Likewise, Stigma. I wish you all the success in your war tonight. But alas, I must depart, as I prepare my comrades for the war of our own. Farewell, Wolf King. Every once in a while, a stage that radiates greatness comes along. A platform where the best in the world come together. A night centered around one thing, the celebration of hard work determination and overcoming the most stupendous of odds. The celebration of champions, icons and legends. 
This moment in time has become known by just one name. Fanniversary. But tonight, the celebration of the Immortals has been put on hold. As this Fanniversary has been consumed by consequences. The consequences of dark mistakes from the past 14 years. The consequences of every treacherous action of the FAM founders. The consequences of putting your faith in the wrong man. I promise you, I will not lose. Forever a movement has faced impossible odds over its lifetime. But none like this. Status, you've misread the situation. No, old man. You misread the situation. It's the most imperative night in the history of this movement. Let's show those fools how the Mafia operates! The night where every gladiator must sacrifice for what they believe in. Which diamond will ascend above the heavens and clay destiny? Whose resolve is more powerful? Whose belief will prevail? Who will write the final page of this chapter in the FAM history book? Across our industry dream of being a part of the stage that superstars scratch a claw to one day make it the pinnacle that only legends can ascend to ladies and gentlemen welcome to the grandest stage of this entire movement welcome to Famniversary my name is Romar and alongside me tonight is my broadcast partner a pimp that you all come to love and know Although I can't say the same myself, Slick Star! Man, I'm excited for tonight. My first fan anniversary, and to be completely honest with you, it might be the most stacked fan anniversary of all time. That's right, Slick Star, but let's not forget about the critical main event coming later on tonight, because, folks, in the closing match of the night, the FAM general manager, my brother, Ron Buster, will go one on one with the self proclaimed Wolf King Stigma inside of the life or death Hell in a Cell. If Rumbuster wins, he has vowed to sell the company to a new owner. One that he promises will carry FAM forward into a brighter future. However, the stark opposite lies in wait for us if Stigma wins tonight. As if he does, then he has vowed to kill FAM on the spot. No reboots, no restarts, no rebranding. It's over. It doesn't get any bigger than this, folks. Yeah, but that is then and this is now. And right now, we've got the host of the anniversary coming up to join us. It's your boys, the Public Enemies.
boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome to the show of shows, the grandest stage of them all, the showcase of the immortals, Faniversary. Test is the opening match of the evening, scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, weighing today at 238 pounds, Father Leonardo Vega. The FAM Royal Rumble was a night filled with bombshell revelations, but perhaps not more grander than the return of the man known as Father Leonardo Vega. The man who not only brought all the four founders together in the first place, but also he was the man responsible for bringing together the seven deadly sins. Vega's been a busy man throughout his life, and if you ask me, he's had his fingers in one too many pies. Five men created a movement, a powerful force unlike the world has ever seen before. Four founders, one teacher. You know the story of these powerful individuals, but what you don't know is the story of those that were forgotten along the way. This is the story of one of those who were forgotten, Raphael, a man known to many now as the Emperor Status. In the early 2000s, Rafael would become one of the fastest rising luchadors on the Mexican independent circuit. One day, a man known only as Father would become a trainer at the same wrestling school Raphael attended. Plotting in the shadows, Father would not reveal his true identity, not until he felt the time was right. And in the meantime, he took a particular liking to Raphael and his skills. Father felt he could turn Raphael into something more. After years of Raphael being under father's wing, a crucial decision was now on the shoulders of the young luchador. Those who hide behind masks are weak. They are afraid to show the world who they truly are. I see much potential in you. Unmask yourself and become the man you were truly meant to be. Embrace it and come with me to Italy. This way, you can find where you belong. And so he did. But what started as a golden opportunity quickly turned into a nightmare. After suffering an injury during his intense training, Raphael would be unable to continue. Father went on to start another journey of his own, recruiting four young beginning wrestlers from across the land, leaving Raphael stranded and alone in Italy.
From there, Raphael would embark on his own path, one in which he would battle grapplers across the globe, building his legacy and an army of his own. In the process, after many years, this army would become known as the Imperial Nation, and the luchador named Raphael transformed himself into a man who would never be taken advantage of again. The Emperor Status. Tonight, we learned that before a future filled with opportunity and hope can be brought in, the past must first be destroyed. The man once known as Father Leonardo Vega will learn that his future is sealed thanks to his own selfish actions. to the afterlife for all your sins, and I'm the demon that's going to drag you. Set them on fire! What? Oh no, 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 you've got to be kidding me. St Stannis knows father? Weighing in at 225 pounds, the Emperor Status! Actually, st stunned. Sorry, folks, I'm a bit of a loss for words right now. You mean to tell me? On top of training the founders of FAM, and on top of training the seven deadly sins, Father is also responsible for training Status! Were you not paying attention? He told us how! Oh, would you just shut the hell up, man? The stipulation for this match. It's finally starting to make sense now. Stannis doesn't want Father to join the Imperial Nation because he wants to take him out for play. He wants to do it as revenge for what Father did to him all those years ago. Consequences have a funny way of catching up the people, don't they? You're telling me. Vega has obviously been fully aware of what these stakes mean before tonight. But now that we all know, he simply has no other option than to win! Who knows what kind of horrors might face him if he becomes part of the Imperial Nation, if he becomes a Jaeger! How are we so blinded to how monumental this rivalry actually is? And the first match of this legendary event is underway at Stannis! What the- What the hell? What the? I'm not impressed. You're not impressed? Look at that calm demeanor of the legendary father. Uh, 
Well, he just turned his back to, to Stas as if he wanted him to, to bring it on. I think that was a bad mistake. Yeah, he's gonna take advantage. Wait, no! Oh my god! A German suplex! Oh, the shades of Redick! And speaking of shades, this man has taught the founders the basics, the origins of their moveset, and I think he's gonna... Oh! Listen, there's a reason why Pride is afraid of this man. Agent or not, this man is a monster. Well, monsters are meant to be slayed. And his status is... Well, well, he's going to slay him, but maybe not right now. But later on in the match. J j just wait and see. This man has been through the trenches of war. This man has fought the ultimate disasters that the sword has to offer. And now... After years of psychological torment, after years as well of his of his own punishment, he decides to come back as status. Oh, status. Okay, I'll give it to status. That's actually a very experienced tactical maneuver on the part of status compared to father, at least. The very smart by status going after the legs of that that old decrepit, brittle old man. Ugh. Decrepit? Have you not seen this man? This man was basically whooping up this whippersnapper like a, like a friggin' tortillas. Oh man, oh I see now. Status slowly but surely working on the leg of father. You point out age regardless how strong you are. Father time, in this case, not father I'm talking about, is not anybody's friend. Oh no, not again. Do you submit? Well, I'm sure all his friends are, are long gone for how old he is. Okay, now you can stop with the whole age jokes, man. It, 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 I don't think it's gonna be that much of a factor. Because this man's strength is something that even both Riddick and Pride allude to. Very much so. Do you give up? I don't think the Emperor really gives a damn about what, what they what those two allude to. Oh, oh, oh! The one hit a quitter! Yo, that's it. It's a what? what? Everything he knows! I, yeah, look! They even taught him how to pounce out! And not take damage! Oh, but Status already pouncing back in and starting to work on his opponent! Oh, oh, wait! The strength! The quarter! What the hell? Oh, beautiful! Beautiful crucifix pin! One! Two! Uh, huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Are you surprised now? Oh, man! Look at the strength of the veteran! The strength! Oh, my lord! Oh, my lord! Oh! Like a rag doll! Picking up and tossing the Emperor above and forward. This man said he conquered promotion after promotion, championship after championship. I bet you he never faced anybody as ruthless and as powerful as Father. Well, he needs to recover. He's like, oh my god, I almost took his head off. Whiplash calls line in full effect into the cover, and Father's got this. Take out, damn it. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Stats is fine. Oh, man. Desperate maneuver on the part of Status. And they set for one hitter quitter. <laughs> he turned him inside out. That guillotine close line. Sandy Kim spinning around like a Beyblade. Status on the outside. What's he doing? Well, what's he doing? You, you better stop. What the? Okay, can somebody explain to me what the hell this being is? This man can read not only what his body is about to do next, but also literally coordinate his body in midair. God, he's caving in his chest with these blows. You can stop now. Anytime. I don't know how Stats is able to, is, is taking this punishment. Nobody's gonna help. Status now. Status is in a world of pain, and he's entered the dungeon. That was, that was more than a five count. Imagine this. This was everything and more that the sins and the relic had to go through with their time with father. Oh, he's now picking him up for what looks like to be a delayed vertical suplex. But stop to put him down, damn it! Oh my God! DDT! And yeah, I think he's putting down right there! That's what happens when you play with your food. Stash sizing up father. 
That is Sam Fowler have had history back in their days, especially when you, co you consider the connections they had. With a leg drop from the top rope. And a cover for the one. And just the one. And for the one indeed. It looks like Stannis already going back to work instantly as he should. Another leg drop from the opposite corner this time. He knows he has more to do. He has much more work to do to put down this beast known as Fighter. And a second leg drop from the top. Stannis now going to what was like a, a full corner. Oh my god. A Houston takeover leg drop. And he's put down Fodder. At least one minute. Never mind! Never mind! I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't think there is a point to understand the power, the sheer will of Fodder. The man that has taught the founders everything. Oh! 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 Okay. Wait, wait! Wait, hold on a minute. Oh my god! That battle driver! That battle driver sees the deal! Oh! Legend! America pulled out! Legend pulled out the official! Father had this thing one man! And this punk! Obviously, he cannot beat him one on one! That's a fact! So now he has to bring in his army! He needs to bring in the Jaegers! And oh, he's gotta be. He was just looking for something! Whatever he did, he found it! Because right now, the tables have turned! And this, this... Yeah, I should have expected this. The Emperor, he may not be the one with the physical straight advantage. He may not be the one with the experience advantage either. But damn, if he isn't one with the tactical advantage. Stas using his high IQ right now. And maybe that's what he has to do in order to be father. Like you pointed out, he can't match him physically, but he's gonna match him, you know, it, it may even exceed him mentally. And now working on those legs again. That's been the game plan of status ever since the beginning of this match. Oh, and now he wants to bring the official, which by the way, should have been called for a disqualification as soon as he got dragged out. Oh! oh what's going on? Standing switch. Oh, one German. Oh, he's not letting go. That's the second one. Oh, please stop this. Please, please, please stop this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stas. He flips out, lands on his feet. Points right to the mouth. Uh oh. No, the regalia! The regalia on father! Hell no! He actually has him! Just tap. Just tap. You know you want to. Listen, man. We don't know the actual records of Father, but I doubt he's gonna tap out that quickly. I doubt he's gonna... Ah, damn. Locks it right back in. Although he doesn't have one of the arms trapped, though. But applying more pressure to that throat. Trying to cut off the oxygen. And that... Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? What? What? Steamroller! And now he's literally rolling over status! The Emperor has nowhere else to go! As well, yes, he does! That's off the road! Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god, power bomb! He's got him with a power bomb! Oh, what the hell? Oh, he was going for a GTS or something, I don't know! Back and forth action. Spinning, swinging, neck breaker. Met Charisma DDT! No. Nope. Oh my god, goes on him. Back and forth we go. Reversal after reversal, counter after counter. The experienced legend! Versus the conquering emperor. Black and gold power bomb. Out of nowhere. He's he's not done. Like a predator playing with his food. He's hurting and he's making sure that status. Oh man, he's making sure status feels the absolute full rat of his entire tenure, not just in FAL, not just in Aura, but his entire livelihood. And I feel it right now, he's going, he's going for a spear! Got the spear! No! He sidesteps him. Oh, the knee right to the jaw. Now John working those legs again. Very smart, very effective. Can you continue? We're asking Father if he gives up. And he's going to. 
It gets, it's only the only matter of time. Look, he's just wrenching, leaning back. He is. But I'm telling you this right now. We don't know the full official records of Crowder. But Pride and Ivor Reddick point out that this man has never tapped out. Never. Well, it was the first time for everything. But this is going to make history again here at Fanversary 5. Father inching and crawling, using his strength to grab the ropes. All he needs to do is reach out and touch the promised land and secure it. Yes! Oh, but damn it! Of course, that is going to utilize the five count. Well, that's very smart. I don't expect him to do anything less. Because that's the only way he's about to even get a slight advantage against Father. This pink right there literally makes Pride sweat. And you're telling me right now that Status has a chance of winning it barely? Yeah, okay, sure. And now look at that, now he's distracting the official and of course that's why! Of course! We're playing the 2 on one thing again. All right, man, this play has been overkill. What the hell, speaking of overkill, what the hell is Status gonna do to fight? The full throttle! Oh, to the pavement! That's taking control of Father. He's tossing him back in the ring. Oh yeah, now the official has him blindsided. And now he's going again for the one who hit her quitter, is he? He's gonna nail it. And we're gonna be over and done with. And he gets it. And that's it. Count to 100. He's down. He's out. Okay. No, he's not. He's not. Listen, man. I'm telling you this right now. You're taught. Reddit eats finishers for breakfast. Nah, man. This is the man that fed it to him to begin with. This is the man that forced him to ignore the pain and go through will. Look at father. Father got enough to come back. And now he's coming back on his own. Pump in a power slip. slip. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Tombstone. Piercing the skull and the lion tamer. This is a lion tamer. That's from, that's from guns. Guns is shadow. Is living through this night. Gunter's essence lives Can through anniversary, and Father showing the original version of that same maneuver. Tap out status. Tap out the conqueror. It's Why? Why is this even allowed? Oh, bounce at the ropes. Oh my God! Whoa! He speared him through the ropes. Gunter's spear. Throw the ropes, breaking lunch in half, and our status. Oh, he's back in the lion stand, baby! Father, I'm about to set up the one spear. He's got a devious look in his eyes, and now, oh, the oh my god! The official is the one that gets taken out! All right, oh, pop up! What the hell is this? Whoa, no, 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 no way! The founder's pedigree! Oh, yes! But there's no ref! But there's no ref! He's on the outside! Of course. Of course. Like, wait. Hold on now. That, those are the Jaegers! Wait! Oh, come on, man! First it was two on one, now it's gonna be five on one! Against this quote unquote decrepit old man. If that's the case, this, this is ridiculous. This is disgraceful. Well, I mean, you want to you wanna share the wealth, you know? You don't want to keep the punches up. Oh, fucking gold! Power bomb! Oh my god! Guns and spear! And now, there's just one left! What? Wait! Lisa! Oh! Oh, the one-hitter quitter from the top of Mount Olympus lands meteoric style onto the face of Father! And he, oh no! Matt Charisma! Yo! No! Oh wait! That, 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 that's Pride's ankle lock! No it's not! That's his ankle lock! He taught that to Pride many years ago back at Aura! Father is just using his moves, his arsenal, because he created them! Just like he's about to create a moment right here and bestow history in the opening bout of anniversary. He's gonna make the Conqueror kneel! He does! Wait! But there's no, the bell ain't ringing! The bell ain't ringing! Come on! That's right there! That's footage that will live on through the test of time! There's no, there's no ref! History is going to say that he's the one that tapped out! The Emperor tapped out! Bell or no bell! It, oh, come on! That's... Oh my god! 
traitor Steven, you bastard! Whacking him with that chair over and over, repeatedly. Yes, give him some. Detectician of the Empire! Don't, don't you stop. You, you continue. He's just assaulting Father relentlessly with that steel chair. Yeah, well, Father was assaulting my eyes with his old age. God, I fear, man. It's, it, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And just as he arrives, he quickly leaves. But damn, did Steven even make an impact? He speak impact. He literally made the chair make the impact onto the body of Father. Now just rest and taking his time. He knows what time it is. He knows he has it in the bag. Oh look, look, look at him. Look, look. Yep, yep. He's gonna fall right back down. Just stay down. Did seven chair shots. And now, oh yeah, that's it, isn't it? He's going for the Mad Charisma DDT. And it's over. He plants him. He's done for. Where if you can honestly take your time? Oh yeah, now, now you want to get up, eh? Sure. Come on. No, no, no. It's over. Yes. Yes. I, you, you can't make this up. You can't. You Father's heart still beating. Even though he's been through wars, even though he's fought at the battlefields, his heart, his blood is still pulsing. But for how much longer, for how much longer will this one move be the death nail? Wait! Oh my god! Air raid crash, neck breaker. And now, oh, setting up for that spear one more time. He has him poised. He has his target locked. Oh, I want to hit a crater from out of nowhere. That's it. You're not getting up from that. He does. He does. He does. God damn it. Father. Oh, close on. The ultimate teacher. The ultimate being. The man that fears nothing. Oh. oh. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh, went for a black and gold, but couldn't get it. Into a cover one, two. Oh, my God. Please, enough, enough. He gets up, he immediately gets back up, and he catches him! Yo! Yo! Sleeping pill! What the hell's going on here? You you need to stop! Black and gold power bomb! With the punches! Oh, what the hell? Oh, going for the pedigree! Founder's pedigree! Founder's pedigree! He's got him! He's... Damn it! What the... What? Lisa! Lisa! No! Why is he first that two? Matt Perezma DDT! It's over! Two! Three! what I just saw. But yeah, yeah, sure, he beat Father, all right? Yeah, after six other of his jabronis came in and assisted the man to begin with, he knew he couldn't beat Father one-on-one. -on -one. That man not only trained Renek, he trained Pride, aka the man that can't be touched. The man sweats bullets when he hears the name Father. And now this man, you want to give him all the credit? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Father made this man tap out. And now you're telling me that besides everything that Father went through, this still the result at the end of the night. What a crutch. If this is the story that we're going to have throughout the night, then this whole thing is going to be a travesty. Oh, come on now, you won the damn match. Just le leave him alone. Did you forget the stipulation? Father belongs to the Imperial Nation now. Father belongs to Status. <laughs> Another freaking Jaeger. And he's got a steel chair. For all that is holy, is this how you treat the members of your Empire Status? Really?
A steel chair for the Emperor himself. Stannis just cracked the score father wide open. <laughs> now, legend symbolically plays Singer Jaeger mask on the father. Completing his cruel induction into the Imperial Nation. What an absolutely disgusting display! Leonardo Vega has been destroyed. He has seen the vision, the light, the new era of forever movement. But he won't be the only one tonight. Wait, what the hell is he talking about? You really don't know. Well, <laughs> allow me to spell it out for you. Because at the end of the night, when Rom Buster defeats Stigma, I have become the Emperor of Forever Movement! What? What? No, no way! He's, he's a goddamn liar! No! No! Like I've been telling you for months, this place needs to change. Rob know it, and that's exactly why you agreed to sell the company to me back at the Royal Rumble. And after it's all said and done, I will be the one to implement that change. I will tear it down and rebuild this place in my image! <laughs> if you're loving Famniversary right now and want to help support this epic content that we produce, please consider becoming a member of the Movement VIP Club where you'll receive a ton of great perks by clicking the Join button underneath the video. Thank you all very much, and now, we return to our feature program. Hey, Slickstar, Slickstar, listen, I'm sorry, I have to do this to you, man, but... I need to get out here, and I have to go find my brother and get to the bottom of whatever the hell Status is talking about. You got this match covered, right? Right? Don't sweat it, Romare. You do what you gotta do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. this true? Nice of you to finally show up. Hit some traffic, did ya? I guess you could say that. I just heard what happened on the radio. So, does this, uh, change anything? Not a damn thing. We move forward as planned. It ends tonight.
Well, it looks like I'm going to be calling this next one on my own, folks. But that ain't no problem, as actually this match is probably going to do most of the heavy lifting for me. As coming up for you right now, we have the illustrious FAM Tag Team Championships being defended inside of the Tag Team Gauntlet match. The Brit Men will defend their titles against the teams of the Haroon Twins, the Kings of the Supercar, the Mafia, and the Switchblade Society. With this one guaranteed to be non-stop chaos from bell to bell, which one of these five teams will walk out with the gold? Ladies and gentlemen, we have some tag team action here in a gauntlet style match. Our first team coming out, you see him right there. The following contest is a tag team tornado gauntlet match, and it is for the FAM Tag Team Championship. Introducing first from Montreal, Canada. Weighing today at a combined weight of 418 pounds, the Skill Foundation, the Heron Twins. Skill Foundation, one of the most dominant tag team factions in FAM history. So their services have been used by some of the great tier in FAM, including the likes of 2TM, Black Heron, Rannick. They have held the tag team championships before and are looking to become two-time champions here tonight. Who's coming out next? Introducing the second team to enter this match from the United Kingdom, weighing in today at a combined weight of 353 pounds, they are the FAM Tag Team Champions, AC Arthurs and Alex J. Arick, the Britman. Ladies and gentlemen, those two individuals right there are aligned with the great Cameron Bash as the keepers of the Tag Team Championships. Mind you, they're the only two-time FAM Tag Team Champions in FAM history. How apropos, how fitting. And whether it's singles action or tag team action, AC and Arik know how to get the job done, and they're gonna get the job done here tonight. I can guarantee you. I mean, just look at them. Two of the greatest of all time. Absolute dominance, singles or tag action. All-time greats. That's what it's all about. The FAM Tag Team Championships. This crowd is roaring here tonight. The loud, the boisterous, I'm loving it. And the bell has rung. Don't attack's made. Oh, oh, pop up. Got him in the shoulders. Five minutes carry style. Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh my god! Wait, wait, I, I don't think he. Wait, I don't think he. No! There's. There's no way. There's no way. The Ari didn't notice. He didn't know the tag was made. The chip. We're gonna. What the hell just happened? Oh, oh, god damn it. Introducing the third team to enter this match. Hailing from the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom, the Kings of Supercard, Funky Town, and Super Zo MG Barbecue. All right. Tonight, Funky and BBQ uh, they teamed together as the Kings of Supercar for a shot at the tag team titles. But let's not forget that they had the clash at the Rumble. It's a question as, you know, as all this time, you know, it, I, can, I hate to say, I'm sorry. But can they coexist? Oh, wait a minute. And that's that's that right there. I'm talking about the animosity. You know, it looks like they haven't settled their beef. 
Oh my god! I, I, I think it was a trick! I think they're on the same page after all, they just suck it in the, the, the Heron Twins in! Oh my god, I, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm upset, I'm mad at what just happened with the Brit men. But... I don't know, I, I'm not really a, a fan of these uh, super card guys either. Oh my god. I don't play super card, I don't care about that nonsense. I don't think that has really any space in our, in our business, in our industry. You know, what the hell is this? Oh my god! Innovative tag team maneuver right there. Oh, what the hell is it? Whoa, springboard! Oh my god, into a flatliner! I mean, I don't really care for Supercard or anything like that, but, you know, they're putting on a putting on a good performance, a good showing right here, right now. You know, if I have to be, you know, unbiased and stuff. Oh my god, what a drop kick! Tag. You know, Funky and BBQ, you know, they're 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 doing their stuff right now. Oh total elimination. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Whoa, the strength. Whoa. Oh my god. To a rolling death valley driver. Whoa, what the hell is he doing on, on the top of Oh my god! He goes middle rope small time if I'm mistaken. I pick it up one of the twins. Has him to Wheelbarrow style position. Take him off the top rope. Whoa. Roll of one, two, victory roll. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> okay. I ain't too happy that they, they took out the Britman. But again, I'm taking these these veterans here. You know, over over these these car plane wanna be wrestlers any day. Get them out of here. They don't belong in our damn business. Oh my god. God damn it. We go from one set of goofs to another set of goofs. Introducing the four teams that enter this match from Sicily, Italy. Big Tony and Tiny Tony, the Mafia. Look, uh, they're veterans. They've been here for such a long time, but really? Really? Come on. This is our night! You tell him, Tony, to tell him what those don't. Speaking of, hey, you real punks! Remember back in survival when we helped you tools win those belts? How about to repay us? You took us to a big Italian restaurant! Oh, the hard, Tony! I still have nightmares to this day! Only mamas can make kids make me sleep in peace! You two wrecks were dead! Now let me show you! How's the mafia? Where is he? Where the hell did he go? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, what goes up must come down, I, I suppose. Uh, hey, Tony. I didn't know we're at an open venue. Uh, whoa. Look at all these birdies coming in. Don't worry, Tony. I'll save you. I'll save Tony, save me! Save me, you pup! Oh my god! Oh, oh no, Tony! Speak to me! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Oh, now it's two on one! Oh, and a double flapjack! Oh, poor Tiny! Oh, what the hell is this? He has him in a, in a vicarious predicament right now. Oh my god! I mean, that's smart. You know, I mean, to, to take out the, the big man, take out his legs. Oh. Wait a minute. Did this great, ugly, musty ogre shit his pants? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, that's wretched. Oh, I can smell from here. Oh, that's bad. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, no! He's... He, that's... That's horrible. He should be disqualified for that. Oh, 
me hit? Who are you? And Big Tony got the right idea. I need one of them damn masks. And now, whoa, what the hell's going on here? Oh my god! Oh! Well, the Mafia are in control now. In a cover. One. Two. Oh. I thought that was it. Oh my god. Crossbody on top rope. Big Tony gets taken out. And now the twins. Working on that leg again. Very smart. Very sound strategy. I think. I, I think. I think Tony. I think he about to tap. I mean, I'll, you know, I, I don't blame him if he did. Lives to fight another day. It was the referee, referee, referee. Oh my god! Who the hell? I, I thought those two idiots were, were bad enough. Let me get the dawn out here to help him out. What the hell? The dawn, and they just took out the Haroon twins. Are you kidding me? I can't. I can't take this. I can't do this. Oh no. Uh oh. Introducing the final team to enter this match, hailing from Central Europe, Panis and Oscar Von Brett, the Switchblade Society. Alright, well, if the Britman couldn't walk out of the tiles, this is my pick. It's over for, for Big and Tiny Tony. And they get their musty asses out of here. Especially Tiny. Ugh. And now, oh, it got, it got catapulted. Oh, into a blockbuster. Oh my god, clothesline and spear combination. Oh, Tiny's in trouble. Oh man, what the hell is he doing? Oh my god, they're just beating him. Um, and beating a big Tony. Oh my god. God, it's a mugging. Oh, Tiny rolls out. Oh! But Tiny, save Big Tony from a kick from Penance. Hey, Don Brunch! Give us a sec to recharge here. We just went through hell and got more sweat on us than you girls did after one night with us. Oh no, Tony! We can't be saying that in 2023. We're gonna be canceled. Our pure Italian answers are about to get permanently canceled. If we go and fight those two bums in the shape that we are in right now, you fat bum! Don't worry about it, Tony. Mama just gave it to me. Wait! You mean you got these stuff? Oh yeah, I got the stuff, Tony. Oh, Mama Mia! That's the stuff! Quick! We gotta take it where nobody can see us! You two junkyard rats, wait a minute! Where the hell is he's going now? What, what, what's happening? What are they doing? Here it is, Tony. <sighs> oh my god! I thought only the dog had access to stuff like this. It's so clean here. <clears throat> are you sure this is 96% pure? It says it on the label, Tony. Because to me, that's 100% pure Italian wine! Oh yeah, baby! We're gonna pound him now, right, Tiny? We're gonna fucking murder him, Tony. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell just ha- How in the blue hell is this legal? Look at him! Now, let me show you how the mafia operates, motherfucker!
Well, uh, that did them a whole lot of good, huh? As they're now both in submissions. One of them, physical appearance changed. <laughs> uh oh, now what the hell is go- Wait a minute. Is that? No, it can't be. After all these years, here! Alive in the flesh, it's... It's... Oh! Oh, it's grotesque! Oh! Mommy! 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 Help me, Mama! Little boy, I'm not helping anyone! I taught you better than that! You got yourself into this mess! And you're gonna get yourself out! Ow! But Mama, it hurt! I know it does, dear. But this pain is nothing compared to what you've been through. You got back up every time someone knocked you out in those boxing matches. You repelled insults thrown at you in school, but graduated first in your class. You were literally struck down with a bullet in your arm when you were a boy, and you still kept on fighting. The way you handled yourself up until this point, I know your dad is watching from the town in the heavens above with the biggest of pride. You're a survivor, son, and I am so proud of you. And I'm proud of you too, big tall. What was that? Ah! Oh! Really? Mama! Mama! This is for you! What the hell am I being subjected to right now? I we're at the really bad time to leave. Oh my god! What goes on? Oh, oh, he's stopping more holding him. Oh, he's gonna walk it dry. What? Oh, and there's Tiny Tony. Still got. Oh! Tiny's just going crazy. Saving Big Tony from that. It looks like a, an abdominal stretch. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god! No. No. Don't you count to three. Don't stop it. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on? Th this is why this damn company's in the shape it's in. Look at how they won. There's no one see a problem with this. Look at this. Look, these are your champions. Look at this. I'm sick. And it's not because that that big, ugly, musty ogre crapped himself. That's besides the point. Oh my, he's holding gold. He's actually accomplished something in his life. For his goddamn mama! Look how much help they had! I'm supposed to be proud of this? Why am I under this company's payroll? And look, 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 they had PEDs! They took PEDs! Italian wine, my ass! Goddamn liars! Look at this! Yeah, oh, the atrocity! But I guess the small silver lining here, folks, and I mean the smallest of silver lines, is that at least this one wrapped up with a happier ending compared to the darkness of our opening contest here tonight. You know, if, if Robert was here right now, I'm sure he'd say, Mafia, congratulations on being the new FM Tag Team Champions. Not me, though. I think right now, Redick would have destroyed him, and all of this would have been happening. What the hell, man? Just, just go! Come on, Creepy, you've done enough right now. The blood of Rennick literally encompassed not just his attire, but also Creepy's chest. What the hell is this creep doing? Wait, am I saying that right? A sample of Rennick's blood, but. <laughs> Rennick's blood, but. Rennick's blood, but. Wait! He just took a sample of Rennick's blood, but. Blood, 
Rannick. The FAM universe is dying to know. Have you been able to find a seventh member for Team FAM for your war against the seven deadly sins here tonight? All I have to say on that is this. When Team FAM goes to war tonight, I will be the last member of our team to enter the match. So if you don't see a seventh member by then, you'll know the answer. Holy hell, where'd that giant come from? Wait, wait a minute. It's my yard just became the new FAM hardcore champion. Welcome back to the booth, my man. You found your brother? Yeah, I found him. But he wasn't exactly in the most talkative of moods. Nevertheless, I can focus on that right now. I need to be a professional and do the job I came here to do. And that is call this incredible action we have right here in store for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe I missed the Mafia claiming the tag team gold. And God damn it, I will not miss another second of this show. Especially knowing what the hell this show actually means at the end of the day. I'm glad to hear it, because up next, we've got a good one. It's the history making, first ever FAM Diamonds Money in the Bank ladder match. That's right, Slickstar. Forever movement is no stranger to the concept of a Money in the Bank match. And in fact, the very briefcase that this match rewards its victor has been used many times throughout our history to completely change the landscape of the world title picture. And now, the Diamonds of FAM will get the opportunity to do the exact same for themselves here tonight. And out comes the first entry, Baby Michelle. Ugh, ugh, this one, the quote unquote, what is she, the conversation piece? Oh yeah, the only conversation I see is on her Twitter post or Instagram post where she has all these quote unquote men lusting over her because that's what she wants, she wants the attention of all these guys on the internet. And mind you, she only has OnlyFans as well, that's where she gets all her pride from it. <laughs> Like just, I, I dread just, just, just knowing the fact that she has a, what, 20% chance, 50% chance, whatever chance he has of actually leaving here with the money in the big briefcase and being a future Diamonds champion. Nah, man, no way, no way. Well, I don't see why that's such a bad future to have. I mean, what's wrong with that? Everything she stands for, not only is she a bad influence for any young generation out there, but she would get us blacklisted by 2K themselves. Well, here comes the second entry, Bree George. Bree George is one of those people that I honestly would love to see ascend here in FAM. And I was extremely disappointed by the fact that she only lasted a couple of seconds back at the FAM Diamonds Rumble. But now, she has her chance not to only ascend up the ladder, but ascend above the stars and shine more than the diamond she really is deep down inside. Oh, the stars struck herself, speaking of stars. This one is already one, but the thing is, she doesn't want to be a star. She wants to be a supernova. And there's no grander way of doing that by actually making a name for yourself as the champion here of the Diamonds Empire. You know, before before the rumble, you know, we all knew that Daphne was kind and, and caring, you know, outside the ring. But I don't know, in that in our Diamonds Rumble match, you know, she proved to be a you know a little bit more than that. You know, she showed some some good fighting spirit inside that ring. So I mean she she has a good chance here, you know, she can unleash that scrappiness here. And oh, 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 here's, 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 here's Andy Jaden, oh. All right, now what's wrong with Andy Jaden? Uh, she beat my favorite in the gauntlet. 
Oh, bull freaking ho! Andy Jaden is actually one of the people that I really want to see become a star here. Not just in the Diamonds Division, but FAM in general. Because she is someone that the girls can look at as a hero. Not unlike... Bebe. Just, just looking at her, she's way more professional, way more athletic than whatever Bebe Michelle is. Well, you, you can't isolate Bebe Michelle like that. What, what is this? What is this biased commentary? The only thing biased right here is the fact that Valkyrie was by far the hottest person to win that Diamonds Rumble. But again, close but no cigar as Elle managed to sneak her way into the victory. But will she be able to sneak her way into leaving here tonight as the Diamonds Champion? That will come here later tonight because right here, right now, Valkyrie is looking to make a name for herself. And hey, let's be real. Anybody that's going to win this match could actually end up doing the impossible here tonight too. Oh, oh my. Entry number six, Kylie Laval. She goes by a lot of names. The Queen of the South, the Toxic Temptress. Listen, I'll be frank with some of you here. Back in the round, Blue, she didn't make much of a good impression on me. I'm willing to give her a chance. Uh, look at these people. I can feel their enthusiasm for this one. However, I still will stand by the fact that she might not be the best pick to actually lead the Diamonds division. Period. Oh, well, I'm going to give her a chance. I mean, you know, she's the bona fide Creole baddie. I, I too, am Haitian, you know. So, I mean, there's, there's, there's some, you know, some, some kinship there. Oh, sure, whatever. But I don't think whatever she's doing, whatever she stands for, is going to be enough to literally ascend above the ladder, grab the briefcase, and make history. This is about stamina. This is about passion. This is about conditioning. This is about making history. And one of these six diamonds is going to end up shining here tonight. Just one. I think it's going to be Baby Michelle. History is underway. The first ever Diamonds Money in the Bank ladder match is set to take center stage. Valkyrie going after Bree George. And look at that. Laval going up. Oh, okay. We have Kylie. Now going after Daphne. Striking. Chops and punches. Going to kick right to the chest. Center to the outside. I think they might be actually doing themselves a favor going to the outside because that's where the letters are. And how do you end up winning this match? By using what? what? Ding ding. You guessed it. A freaking ladder. Well, I think it's actually smart to actually get some separation from everyone else in this match. You want to make sure that his timing is everything. And the Jade again knocked out. And uh, well, already not making any friends here in this match. And we don't should we shouldn't be expecting that. And okay. Pepe already trying to distract Laval over there, and I think it's working perfectly. Yeah, well, now I see Valkyrie. I'm just tossing out, baby. Oh, that's smart. That's actually smart right now. Going after and grabbing a weapon. Whatever she's. No! She actually went outside! Hold on now! Well, I agree with you. I think that was smart. Out of sight, out of mind. Then we'll see Valkyrie and, and Andy Jaden. Ooh! The knee right to the elbow. Laval now. Already going back to work. Right on Bree George. And Bree George! Oh my! Oh! Russian legs we want the barricade! Okay. And finally, now this is what I'm talking about. Laval needs to grab the ladder and actually use it to actually, guess what, win the actual match. Oh. Or break her opponent's face in half, my lord. Bree George concussed from that steal. Whoa. What the? Eddie Jaden. Oh. 
showing tenacity and so does Bree George immediately getting back up after that shot from the steel ladder. Lane Jayden now. Whoa, tilt the world. Oh my god, it sends Valkyrie over the top rope. Valkyrie literally flying like a Valkyrie over the top rope. What? The star struck herself. Oh, gets struck down by Jayden. Okay. I went for a splash. They have to move out the way. Now Laval gets reversed by Bree George. Bree George again. She was, I'm a brief she was one of the people I actually wanted to see win that match back at the Rumble. However, tonight, she's only, not only did she amped up her tenacity, she, oh my god, she amped up her ruthlessness. That crucifix bump on the ladder. And a bicycle kick that did not catch Andy Jaden. In fact, Andy Jaden went for a roll up into a spitting kick right under the jaw of the Starstruck. That struck her jaw wide open. I got it with the punts, I apologize. She had to roll up the ring. Taking a little bit too much damage there. I did not expect this from Bree. I really didn't. Just go, I thought she was gonna be a bit, I don't know, maybe naive, especially given her track record, but I'm digging this! This is what you should do! Forget about mercy, forget about sportswomanship. Ooh. This is about history! Wow! Spear right on the ladder. Now this, this is what Bree needs. Bree needs to just, you know, drive her body like it's somebody else's and just go to distance. Forget about the punishment, forget about the wounds. Tonight is all or nothing. Be just really nice. Nice you appearing uppercut it. Oh my god! Swinging Valkyrie right into the side of the barricade. I'm actually impressed with Bree. Bree is the one that's taking charge of this rumble, which is uh, not the rumble, this is the money in the bank ladder match. I'm sorry, I keep remembering the rumble simply because of how outraged I am with her performance. I'm not afraid, yes, I was disappointed. But now, now, this ain't the rumble. This is Vap anniversary. And this is a different Brie altogether. Well, she's gonna have to perform differently here. She's gonna have to perform better than she did at the Rumble. And so far, she hasn't been doing that. Oh my oh, god! What the? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what? I, I, I think I'm uh, I think I'm agreeing with you. I think I'm liking this aggression here. I don't know what to make of that. But what I would want to make is a champion out of Brie. Go for it, Brie. She has her hands on her destiny. All she needs to do is unhook it. Oh, wait. Oh. Laval. And Kylie now. Forms. Oh, and this Brie shoving her off. Oh, Brie dropped down. I don't know if I would have done that. Oh, overhand chop. Bounce off the ropes. Went for a close on. Didn't get it. Oh. Beautiful capillary. Oh, and a nice little, little smack. Okay. Kylie now taking the ladder. Wait, oh, I think she has some devious. Devious thoughts on her mind. Oh my god! I think she just broke Bree in half. Whoa! Oh my! She guillotined her. She guillotined her. Bree showed no mercy to her opponents, and Laval is doing the same thing to her. What? Where did she, where did she come from? Oh, oh, I see he fell right in the ladder. That was a double whammy. Oh! Bear, bear came from under the ring. Like I said, that's why I don't like her. Not only is she one of the most shameless women to ever grace FAM, oh. but she is also one of the most dastardly pe- Okay, and also one of the dumbest. God damn it, I forgot. Yeah, yep, there you go. Oh, okay. No pin in here. You have to come the ladder. What were you saying about her being a champion again? I, I was saying that it wasn't a bad possibility. We toss to Kylie over the top rope. But she has cleared the field, so... She has given herself the green light to climb that ladder. It, oh. Somebody please stop her before she makes the wrong kind of history. Somebody please! Get her! Get into her! Bree! Please! Thank God! Thank God! Oh, oh. damn! Andy! Go! Try to reverse this! She comes back in! Strikes her down! There you go! Pounder! Pounder like there's no tomorrow! Pause! Oh! 
Andy now. I was jumping to the corner. Sizing up, baby. Oh. Well, she just moved the ladder. What's she going for here? I think she knows she has to do a lot more work to put down Baby once and for all. Baby has been fresh because, again, she was hiding throughout most of this match underneath the ring like a coward. Is it being a coward or is it smart? I think it's smart. You think I want to go in there and take a ladder to my face? No. Oh my god, Meteora. Oh, yes! Oh my god. It's like a hot shot in the middle rope. A temporary alliance. Is that temporary? Whoa. Oh my god! Out she goes! A swinging senton from the top. Oh, but the star struck! Daphne herself just struck down! Laval! That actually rhymes. Yes, Romir. I'm, I'm glad you, you, uh, you, you, you spit a 16 there. I can spit more than facts, man. I can speak more than Busta Rhymes. And right now, the only thing busting right now huh? is actually Daphne with all these moves. What do you mean, huh? Uh, well, you, you... Never mind. Never mind. Daphne there with ch choking out Kylie in, in the corner. Shoving her back right into the corner. Oh! Laval feeling the absolute strength of Daphne. The absolute willpower behind the starstruck herself. Wait! What? 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 She literally swung her nape into the middle of the ladder. Oh my God, I never saw it in my life. They have now in firm control, and she herself has now cleared the field. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. And this, oh, God, kicking the shin. She kicked her leg out of her leg. Valkyrie now picking up Daphne. Unleashing the furious strikes. Oh my god. Slaps into a knee right into the jaw. Valkyrie right now back in control momentarily. Again, I will also say and continue to say this momentarily. There are six competitors in this match. Anyone can jump in the driver's seat at any point. Well, like I said earlier in the match, it's all about timing here. Oh my god. Did she? Yes, she did. She knocked her flat out. Oh, wait. Hey, this is it. This is Valkyrie's chance. Valkyrie is going to go the distance. She's going to climb the heavens. But Bree George. Bree George. There's Bree. Come on the other side. That's very smart. Push her around the ribs. She can't protect herself. She has her hands on the briefcase. Oh, my. Oh, my. Only one of these two souls is going to send to the heavens. Only one of these two women is going to end up becoming the briefcase holder. And it's not going to be Andy. And it's not going to be Bebe. It's not going to be any of these two unless they can stop Bree. Starstruck now. Hold on. What the? Setting up a ladder on the other side right next to him. Why? Well, oh my God. Come on. Go ahead. Oh. Valkyrie and Bree find the top of the ladder. But look who's next beside them! Wait a minute! Somebody joined the party! No, it's Baby! That's not Baby and Daphne on, on, on the other ladder! It went from a 1v1 to a four women battle royale! Who's gonna end up leaving here? Who's the ultimate destined one? Oh my god, two ladder smashes. Oh, oh, Baby able to reverse that. Oh, Bree. Oh, my God. He wants to smash Kylie's... Uh, sorry, I should say Valkyrie's face on the... Oh, what the hell's going on here? Hey, yo. Yo! Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. What was that? Bree, a modified version of the... Okay, or off the, off the ladder. Top of meteoric slaps from the top of the ladders. These women are gonna put everything on the line. They're gonna leave every single ounce of blood, sweat, and tears. Oh my god! And brace cell in this ring. My god! I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of feel bad for Daphne. She's always getting tossed out to the outside. It's not her just being tossed outside. Everybody here is being tossed left, right, and center. And Kylie, oh, tossing oh. Bray into the outside. Just down, Valkyrie. 
And you see Barry there telling Valkyrie to stay down. You can you, you can only force someone like Valkyrie to stay down. Words will not do nothing. They are meaningless. You gotta put somebody down for good from them just to keep them from at least attempting to reach their ambitions, to reach their goals. And right now, Valkyrie is being tested to the limits. Oh, both top of the ladders. But that, that's the point of the map. You need those ladders to climb. What the hell are you two doing? What are you doing? Well, what the hell? Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Air Jaden and Kylie. Diving on to each respective opponent, but again, you need ladders to win a ladder match. Bingo! Hey yo! Hey yo! I thought she was setting up for something right there, but the only setting up is Bree George's fate! Oh yeah, man, okay, yeah, right, I'm right, they're setting up. They're setting up something menacing. Wow. Scary ass hell. What you doing over here, huh? No. What you doing no. over here? Go away. Go away. Wait, these two are in it for the money, they're in it for the fame, and they're in it, as usually, for the FAM Diamond Championship! Oh, wait, Bree George! She was going to be served up on a plate, in this case, letter, but then the... Oh! It's a gory, knocking her out! Oh, Bree, getting up though. What the hell? Whoa! Oh my god! She used the ladder as a literal springboard to launch on Bree! These women are not! I thought Rob was nuts for trying to sell FAM to status, but these women are something else! Oh! What a sent time from Kylie and, and Andy? Andy, what are you doing? Andy! Andy, I promise you it's not worth it! Not you too! What? Wait, wait, what's happening here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is going on? Oh, whatever that was going to happen with Starstruck. She's... No, something much worse is about to happen! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, she's dead. Romero, you know that? I hope you know that. She's dead. She's not getting up. Oh my god. We're not over. Here is Kylie just pounding away on Bebe. And now... Whoa, what? Valkyrie. No. What's going on? Wait, oh, no. what the hell? Oh, who is it, Rana from the top bro? These women have inflicted each other with so much pain, with so much fortitude. How is Andy fighting? Oh, in a snap vertical suplex. <sighs> this has been. Uh, this has been a car crash. This has been a monster truck rally, man. I wasn't expecting this amount of fruitlessness from this woman. Not one bit. <laughs> look at that. Busting her open with just bare knuckle. Just, just absolute disregard. Just, they absolutely disregarded their own body. Something I truly did not expect. I gotta give my respects to all of these six gladiators. They aren't diamonds. They are gladiators right now. They are fighting for what they believe is the right. Oh, what the hell is Andy? Andy! Jaden! Oh my god! Er, Jaden! Crashed and burned! Hey, George ducked out of the way, but there's no ducking. Laval strikes! And if you were Bebe, oh yeah. You gotta be worried about your Instagram career because your nose just got messed up royally! But not as royally as Jaden's! What the hell? No, no, no! She's gonna set up the power bomb! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Christopher! Her back got spiked through the ladder! Oh no! No, 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 no! Kylie! Kylie! The fall from Mardi Gras, Muso! Bro! The announce table! And Starstruck! Well, we know one of them got wood. Oh no! 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 I was about to say Valkyrie was about to end this match once and for all, but Bree! Bree! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! The flight of Valkyrie! 
Valkyrie! Valkyrie! Daar zit! Valkyrie! No! Oh, there's Daphne! Daphne! Just! Whoa! Springboard right to the ladder! These two women! It all comes down to these two! I can feel it! We're at the end game, ladies and gentlemen! No! The star! Just struck down! And Valkyrie wins! The money in the bank! Valkyrie! is set to join the gods! What an absolute cathartic match! What an abs- I, I- I was expecting a spectacle. I was expecting a car crash, but again, we didn't get that. We got an absolute monster of a brawl. We got ourselves chaos. We have ourselves history. And I gotta tip my- glasses whatever I have here to these women these these warriors just went all out they literally acted as if they were in somebody else's bodies and just went absolutely nuts they absolutely disregarded their own safety their own lives for the sake of getting the chance to becoming the FAM Diamonds champion but Valkyrie Valkyrie is the one that was just more ambitious, just a bit more hungry. Valkyrie just made history here, and I mean, I, I, you know, I, I didn't think baby winning was was such a bad thing, you know. But I'm not, I'm not too mad at Valkyrie winning either. Valkyrie, however, you have to realize this: with Valkyrie being the Money in the Bank winner. And with Rom potentially losing against Stigma tonight at FAM ending, she has to make a choice. She really does. This is a uncharted territory for not just a diamond, but for anybody that ever wielded a chance like this. Her fate, her destiny is in her hands. Regardless of the outcome, Valkyrie's future is one to behold. Congratulations to the one! Congratulations to Miss Diamonds Money in the Bank. If you're loving Famniversary right now and want to help support this epic content that we produce, please consider becoming a member of the Movement VIP Club where you'll receive a ton of great perks by clicking the Join button underneath the video. Thank you all very much and now we return to our feature program. By God. Yeah, no, right? Those women were on fire tonight. These boys need to pull out something special tonight if they ain't trying to get overshadowed by the ladies. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, Sico. Bor. Influencer. Ah, disgusting. Boy, you can't discuss him with a haircut like that, bozo. You should watch who you're talking to. Well, maybe we use our influence as special guest host to make sure you don't have a real good time tonight. You ignorant fools! Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? This is the great, powerful drug lord, Mr. Sico. The most powerful and influential man suit of the border. So if you want to start making threats, and throwing your weight around? Believe me, we have the necessary requirement to back it up. Excuse me, gentlemen, but Justin Leeper has asked for your presence ahead of his experience later on tonight. Saved by the bill this time, boys. You might want to think twice before you step to the public enemies again. What are you?
completely honest. With everything else going on here tonight, I don't even want to know what just happened to Mr. Sicko at the hands of that creep! Can't be good, that's for sure. But hey, let's focus on the positives here tonight. New tag team champs, a new Miss Money in the Bank, the biggest fan diversity of all time is delivering if you ask me. It certainly is, Star, but now, the atmosphere in this building is about to completely change. As we get ready for the ultimate war between Team FAM and the seven deadly Sims. This battle right here is almost 15 years in the making. They all the way back to when Rannick was banished from FAM and decided to join the seven deadly Sims. Ever since that day, this colossal showdown has been a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. And tonight is the night that fuse runs out. As the ultimate stakes are on the line, if Team FAM composed of Cyanide, J2F, Killswitch, Sander, Two Twisted Merc, a potential unknown seventh member, and their leader Rennick managed to pull out the victory, then the seven deadly sins must seize their operations and abandon the legacy they have spent two decades building. However, if the seven deadly sins, composed of greed, gluttony, envy, lust, slot, wrath, and their leader pride, pull out the victory for themselves, then Rennick has agreed to spend the next seven years locked up in the heart of the Aura Academy Dungeons. With so much on the line in this one, you guys better be ready, because this is one where every action counts. Everyone in this entire arena knows that the two of us could tear each other limb from limb right now. But begrudgingly tonight, I come in peace because that wouldn't solve anything. There are more complex issues between me and you, Pride. Once, that would require a more complex solution. This right here is what is amusing to you, Redick. As usual, we are on the exact same what you have done to us, what you have done to our family, is something you need to pay the price for. What I've done to you? You cast your so-called brother Rat aside and replaced him with me, all as part of your quest for glory and power. All the seven deadly sins are to you, Pride, is your legacy. And that's the problem, Renick. You weren't there in the beginning. You didn't have to go through what we did. And that's why you never saw us as a family. In the seven years I shared the roof of the Aura Academy with you, you were no family. You were a dysfunctional ruin. Remove our names from your monologue, and one might think you were talking about forever a movement itself. There may be similarities between us, Pride, but there are some key differences you are forgetting about. While you fight, for the purposes of maintaining your legacy. My legacy is maintained because of the reasons I fight. So Pride, here is what I propose. The Seven Deadly Sins versus Team FAM at Famniversary. Everything that the ranged man had taught us was preparing us for this day. The day that we stand across the battlefield from our greatest foe. I just never would have thought in a million years, that my foe would be you. A man created by the same traitor as me. A man that I once called a brother. It's only fitting that the sin that starts it all for Aura is the enviest one of them all. This is the man that's so jealous of FAM's success that he's calling us criminals, us con artists, us scammers, whatever you want to call it, and he thinks we are manipulating children. Also, he is the man that wants to be the messenger of the Holy Spirit, 
this freaking ghetto preacher is trying to convince all of us that he is the one that every devoted believer should walk behind. And he has targeted Merck specifically because he believes he is presenting the wrong message of God. That the word of your beliefs should be spread with fear and not with love. That is Envy's belief. That is Envy's way. He's so jealous of Merck's evolution and is so jealous of Merck's home that he, he's just spreading lies. He's just spreading horror and he's doing that alongside the seven deadly sins. speak of the devil but he is no longer dead here comes to a twisted merc and I believe right now listen none of these two parties have ever publicly mentioned who's going out first so the fact that the sin sent out envy first and then merc came out oh I don't know I think fate has placed its hands on this event tonight I agree. I agree. I, I, I mean, I, look, look, look at the position that that we find ourselves in here, Romare. This is like just the, the magnitude of this match. How personal it's gotten. What's rotten on the line? This is a match that Merck and Andy, BH, and all the founders are willing to put their prides on the line here, simply because Pride himself literally came here to prove to Rennick that he left Aura for an inferior home, an inferior family. He calls FAM weak and he is going to dismantle them, at least in his own words, to prove to Rennick that he did a terrible mistake abandoning them seven years ago. And of course, this match, we've heard about the sins seven years ago. They came here seven years later and now finally in this bout should Rannick lose he will go back to his original home for seven more years but one of the soldiers that's gonna defend his right to stay in the home that Rennick built along with his founding brothers here he is the change man the former demon the former World Heavyweight Champion to Twisted Merc and you can see it right now he is no longer the demon he is the Jesus Freak and not only that as well I can feel it he is the best version of his former self he is wild but he is also kind he is strong but he is also a very 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 generous soul but I don't think he's gonna be generous to Envy. He's gonna defend his homeland in forever movement and he is going to show what true strength is. The same strength that made FAM what it is today. And of course, I don't think Envy has any idea what he has done by shaving Merc's head. I think the last thing you ever wanna do is give Merc any kind of motivation. That's exactly what Envy did on top of the motivation of defending his home, obviously known as forever a movement. And this home, it's pride. It's about to be defended right here against the seven sins of mankind. Today is judgment day for your scrawny bald ass. Now we're about to basically have the match that's been a while in the making between the followers of God, one evil, one pure of light. Let's see if God favors your strength then, fool. And for Merc and, and Envy, it's like a looking in, a, in the mirror, like a reflection here. That's the vibe I get. Oh my god! Oh, you done did it now, stupid bitch! Oh my lord. Envy. He is the. Why is it the high flyer of Aura? That makes him the absolute best high flyer in the history of the sport. Let me tell you something right now. Envy proclaims he is the messenger of the Holy Spirit. I don't buy that. What I do buy is that he is. 
Yeah, I'll get it up by that. A Torino DET, the absolute pinnacle of what a high flyer should be. Nobody can touch this man in aerial offense. I truly believe that. You was looking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at you. The whisper of the wind with those educated feet. Merc dodged and he already bounced back right in the middle of the ring. Look at that! Bring Bruno to a hundred cut water just so swimmingly! I'm flying like a butterfly and sting like the devil's horn, bitch! It's time to end you, blasphemous motherfucker! But he missed! Oh, oh my god! Oh, but he didn't miss that one! Inseguri! And listen, he's a sin, man. He's a... Oh my lord! He made a mistake is what he did! He's food! He's floor mat! And then Merc, measuring him. Running off the ropes. Tope, come on, hello. He finally hit it. A high flying move on the ultimate high flyer. I call it poetic, but I would say finally. Finally, it's time for Merc to show what it means to be a soldier. Show him what it means to. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. Oh, he literally turned him inside out. How did he do that? How did, how did he do it? Hey, man, you gotta buy it, whatever you agree or not. Envy is the ultimate aerial assassin. You see how high my hot ass flies? I saw the heavens with my head. Now watch me whoop the devil's bitch. Get your cracker ass over here. Oh no, now. Hey, Merc, Merc coming back. He's fighting back out. But, oh, damn it, Envy. Oh no, he's caught him in the sleeper hole. This is a very peculiar situation. They're in the Aber right now. D dangerous territory to say the very least. And I don't think Merc is gonna find himself in any... Oh! Oh, I never mind! Jawbreaker. Desperate counter by Merc. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> to Billy! On the edge of the apron! Oh, and the spine might as well be broken in two. Romeo, well, I don't know if you know, but that's the hardest part of the ring. Oh, believe me, I think Envy knows that more than anybody right now. That's Merc! It's the twisted reaction! There's no way. There's no way he's gonna play Envy away now. I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it. But the reality is, we're dealing with the sins. Wait! Twisted impact! That should be enough, though. That's it! Oh my lord, Merc, come on, go! I know he's a sin, I know he's part of Aura, that makes him one of the best, it makes him the top, but still, hang in there! Hey, yo, no way, no way! He, he's unreal, he's unreal. What the, he's desperate is what he's doing, what the, what? Why did he do that? He just removed the turnbuckle pad. Watch, he's gonna rub his back into it, what, he has an itch or something, what the hell? Hey! Victory roll! Victory roll right there! One! Two! Oh! oh I, I, I swear that was it! Well, I wish that was it! Oh, Merc was gonna go for a strike, but it seems Ooh. like Envy had Merc's number! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, rapid fire elbows right to the side of the jaw! By the power of the Holy Spirit, I smite your punk ass to oblivion! Oh no, sizing up! Oh my god! Baptizing Merc with those boots. How dare your heretic ass make me sweat? Don't you know who I am? I am the true messenger of the Lord, God Almighty, ruler of heaven and earth and every damn thing in between. And you are in between the earth and his word. Let me remind you of your whole damn movement and what the fear of God is. Wait a minute! Oh, oh, oh. What the? Hold on now, put that, put, put, put that down. Let's not get crazy here. Merc, look out! Oh, super kick! Oh, oh. oh the exposed metal! Twist the reaction again! Oh man, that has to be it! Let's go! First one of the sins down! 
Six left to go. Merck gets his revenge. Merck's word prevails over the darkness. However, this darkness is not over just yet. As I mentioned, one down. Six to go. This, this, this couldn't be a worse situation for Merck. Merck is the lightest guy in the team. And he's going up against the heaviest man, not just in the seven deadly sins, but in all of combat sport. Slot, the seven deadly, listen dude, understand, 600 pounds. And this man cannot feel pain. He, he's literally immune to torment. He's just... He's inhuman! Uh, bright says if I smash you, I get to go on holiday. Come on. He's bouncing back from the sheer dirt of the Mammoth! Uh, stop tickling me. I hate that. I hate it. Annoying. Annoying. So annoying. Stay down. Mark is like a child in there. It's not even fair. Oh! I, 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 you, you can't even fight back. What, what are you supposed to do? You can't hurt the man. You get you. What does you, what, if you can't hurt the man? How can you win in a wrestling match? Explain it to me that. Okay, I have an idea. Just uh, place your shoulders down, and I get to pin you. Come on, Mark. I'm trying to help you here, buddy. Just put your shoulders down. Oh, what a bummer. I guess I got to do this the hard way. The pressure of the world, and now the pressure oh. is lost! Oh. Jesus! Yes! Oh. Yes! Those tribal chinks landed on pay dirt! He's going to try to Oh, oh. this is a reaction! Oh. Reaction! Oh. Oh. oh my! How did you do that? This guy feels nothing! Oh my god! No! What the hell? Oh, this is actually fun! <laughs> Oh! What the hell is right? Oh! No, I wanna play with your other six friends. Oh, oh. But this is the Richter scale. That's what it's called because the whole entire planet is gonna shake. Oh. Oh. Damn it! No! How fitting! He just sent him to Jesus. Oh! Oh! Yeah. I win! Yay! And now we're raving, but I couldn't even say that. Two TM has been eliminated. Some can now slot. He's in complete control. This the man that feels you can't hurt this man. The next valiant gladiator that's set to defend the empire of forever movement is about to set his sights into the Colosseum. Oh no, this one's boring. Let's end it quickly. Slot, the man that feels no pain. I don't even want to call him human. Sander. Huh? However, oh. not afraid of anything. Oh. He's willing to go out. Okay, yeah. oh. He got it and put him down. They want a blockbuster. Uh, uh, I'm getting up, mommy. I'm getting up. Uh, oh, oh yeah, smash. He did hit him, but again, the girt, the weight, the absolute immune body of this monster. It's, you can't yeah. move him. Uh, 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 <laughs> time to play pinball game. <gasps> Boing. <laughs> <laughs> Tossing him like a rag doll. And now Sander is cornered. Max Monster broke away in his ass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. No pain on that toe. As he followed that up with a belly to belly. Oh, who put that metal 
dingy here. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's not important. Time to say night night. Oh, smart. Um, Very smart. Two, two. Oh, no, no. Uh, Sander, Sander, show that you've been training for Reddick for a good reason. Show him your progress. Show that you're that fame legend. Show him what it means to be part of this movement. Fight him to the impossible. What the hell is he at playing here? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, what? Wait, where am I? What? No, oh, it was not it. Why, why, why? What can you do? What can you do? What can you slot? What is the point of this? What? Why do you? Why, why does this exist? I, I, I don't, I don't call him human, Romare. It's, it's a this. It's a thing. Oh, my son. Is. They say iron is good for your head. I don't know. It always makes me dizzy. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm awake, Bobby. I'm awake. Oh. Is this the opening we need mm. to put down this thing once and for all? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. Oh, oh. Indolent slave. <laughs> Eliminated. Slot. It's unstoppable. Is he just gonna roll over everybody now? That's it, this is checkmate. First Murky went to market. Second Sandy stayed at home. And third Picky is going to be roast beef. Oh. There's a reason why we're call them the seven strongest beings on the planet. that waited seven years to return to FAM be the one that can crack the absolutely unbreakable armor of Slot. He has been selfish from time to time, I'll admit that. Downright crazy at times. However, tonight is not about championships. Tonight is not about ego. Tonight is about family. Oh, you're the one with the scary second chance videos. I don't like you. And will he defend his family against the absolute behemoth known as Slot? Oh, why am I getting sleepier all of a sudden? What? The second chance kick from a oh, what, what? Come on, come on, man! Nothing, nothing. <laughs> that was a nice little roll through there. But I don't know if it's good. Oh, okay. A uh, second one. Yeah. Oh, a third one. Well, maybe, maybe there's a method to the madness here. Uh, Wait a minute. You're right. I. Oh. This is. Oh. This is brilliant. Stay. Oh. 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 Jet kick! Hey! Wait! This one knocked him out! What the hell was that? Wait a minute! He had solid plates on his kick plates! Oh my seeing stars! How ingenious! This is it! This is it! Take him down! Oh my god! Oh whatever it just been me! Slot is! Finally! JTOF evens it out for the movement! Submission specialist of the seven deadly sins. The dominatrix herself, Rene, called her 
the strongest, most powerful woman on the planet. And I gotta tell you, if that doesn't mean something, that I can never get over that though. Oh my god, she caught herself lost, but she is by far. I'm gonna say it, she is the ugliest hack I've ever seen in my life, dude. Now hold on, that is the most experienced gilf on this planet. Right, she experienced enough. Wait, what? what? How would you? Did she, she, she experienced enough to take down the FAM veteran. It, oh my God! What the hell? She, she, she calls that the, ex, the exotic dance. Whoa! But you have calls that a reversal. She lifted J to whip, and she puts him back down. Oh my God! Dude, there's a reason why Reddit called her the absolute strongest female on the planet and <laughs> did she just did she arouse the official oh so that's how she does it how how i don't know what she what did, did she just did she what she's doing right now is tormenting j2f with no count out she has regained she has free control by by literally toying what the men? She's literally toying with men right now. is literally torturing the FAM legend. Shade to where? What am I seeing? How, what? She is? How old is she? Six, oh, you know the number. Come on, I don't want to see it. And she's that strong. Just imagine her in the hair prime. She's manhandling. Oh, forget that he's a man. He's an FAM legend. She's destroying J to F with her bare hands. Oh, Jesus, teeing off on him. Picking him apart like a rag doll. Limb from limb. And this is what she does. She is the torturer of Aura. The submission specialist and right now she's gonna continue with her fun she's not even gonna attempt to pin him she wants to stretch j2f's body to the absolute limit oh my god can j2f even fight back from this is she just too much most impressive thing she's doing all this in heels and i think she might actually end j2f's run right here right now is, is there a way you can stop this woman? Locking in a variation of, of the cross face. Or J2F finding a way to escape. Elbows right to the mouth. Oh, yes! J2F with the comeback! Do it! Yes! Drop kick! Another drop kick. Duck under. Oh my god! He oh, hit it! Second chance kick on the old head! Get it? Oh, oh what? Hey, yo. I'm, I'm not even sure what the more impressed about. Either her dominance or her resilience. Either way, lost. There's a reason why. She's the longest tearing member of Aura. But there's also a reason why J2F is the longest tearing member of Forever a Movement too. Now they got something in common. They're both old. Oh, over the ropes. Oh, oh my god. Need to the ribs. Oh. How, how did you she do it? She picked him up again into a and knocked him a stretch. Can somebody help me describe what we're witnessing here? She's picking him apart. Her submission game is impeccable. Not just her submission game. Her overall combat experience is uh, nobody can match that. Maybe pride, maybe, but she knows her way around. If you know what I mean. Oh wait a minute. Victory roll! Yeah. Oh, come on! Call for the bell! Screw that! Screw that! She went low! As she always does! I'm I Come on now! Oh? Oh I I, I don't Hey! Wake up! Oh don't fall for that! You've gotta be kidding me. You are you serious right now? Um oh my god. 
Lust is literally manipulating him. And of course, when she's done with him, she spits him out like a chewing gum. And now J2 is next in line to get chewed again. Courtesy of Lust. As she goes for the exotic dance, squealing him until it's no more. Come on, this is it. The bottom of his feet almost just in the back of his head. Come on, J2F. Can anybody stop this mad woman? Can anybody stop? Lost! Oh, wait. No! Can it actually be? It is! No! No way! Founder! Guns! No way! Am I dreaming? No! This is reality! One of the founders of the Empire is here to defend his home! He's here to defend it in the last stand! The old woman! He just speared! Lust! Out of her goddamn high heels! What? We're back in the ring! Hey yo! Shake the whip and guns! Their former rivals! Working to defend their home! She's gone! Lust has been eliminated! Courtesy of guns and J2F! Guns and J2F working together! I what? Never thought I'd see the day! What a moment this is! <laughs> the two of and veterans finally uniting for their home! This moment will live through the annals of history, this moment will live forever. Come back here! I had to stay in this awful place for seven years to bring you intel for tonight. I shall create a meal that is served with forever movement blood. <laughs> you, you two are going to be snacks. Oh. I have waited seven years for this. Guns being sent out, courtesy of... Gluttony! Gluttony being taken down immediately by J2F! J2F is yeah. taken down! Oh, an uppercut. <laughs> no, I'm really hungry. <laughs> the, 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 you can't tame this man. The only way you can appease him and slow him down <laughs> is if you free him! But what he's eating right now yeah. is kicks courtesy of J2A! <laughs> <Good try. laughs> Whoa! He blinded J2A! Oh, beautiful woman, thank you. Come to the top of now. Oh my god! The J2 finale! But I don't think it's enough to put down someone from the seven deadly sins. J2F, he knows he needs to do more. Exactly. Come on, J2F. Put out the coup de gras. Put out the death nail. Do it! No! Blood feast! Swat him out midair like a fly! Just like that. J2F is out. I, I, I like the sins, but I, I'm not gonna lie to you, Amir. I, I'm kind of scared of the alternative if they win. Push back! Oh, but here comes the other half of the SCS! 
Here comes Kill Switch. This man returned back at the Royal Rumble, not only as one of the participants, but also as one of the soldiers confronting the sins. And now, after revealing that he, alongside with Sander, had been training with Redick in the background, we're about to see just how far their strength is willing to go. Hey, this one looks good. I don't know, man. This mountain could be just too much for Killswitch to climb. Maybe he's just too crazy for him. Maybe it's just too unpredictable. But Killswitch, he has seen everything within FAM ever since the beginning. Can Killswitch be the one to take down Gluttony? The, the former tag partner of Rob Buster! Whoa! Back on his feet! <laughs> He caught him with an arm bar! That training is paying off! And thank god it is! He's trying to break the spike! That hand that put down so many people within this movement and tortured so many souls with the aura! But damn it! Wow, that's, that, that's ingenious! That's smart! Grabbing the arm of gluttony! And that monster is feeling pain! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's me right back into the triangle. Kilsim is the one that caught him. He caught his arm and he's cinching it in. He's not letting go. Well, man, I think you're right. That, that, that general Rannick is really paying off right here. We're going to need it. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. My Lord. He's trying to eat this man. Raw. Do, do we condone cannibalism? Is that, is that a, a thing you want? Know? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh! Yes! Switch back! Yes! Is this enough? What's the position? I would say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Let's see! Man! It's gonna take a hell of a lot more! Come on, kill switch! Oh no, he caught him! Oh wait! Kill switch! He was going for the switch! No! Kill switch! Caught him! And he literally hit him with pay dirt this time from the ropes! Out the ropes! Whoa, wait a minute! Sleep! Come on! It has to be it! It's over! God. Oh. Come on, kill switch! Come on, kill switch! You're close, man! You're close! Come on! Fight! Fight him! Come on! Come on, get up! Get up! Get up, man! Get up! You almost had him! You just need one more death nail! One more big move! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Northern Lights into a brain buster! Hang him hard! Gorgeous combo! And look at them, he's just getting back up. Kill switch though. Uh oh. Gets caught! Oh, I broke. Oh my god! Now, now, is it? Oh, the Black Feast! No, no. I'm not finished. I'm, I'm not satisfied. I'm hungry. He doesn't want to pin the man. He wants to. He wants to eat him. Oh, oh my me. God! <laughs> oh my God! Ref, get in there! Somebody help him! He's eating. He's literally eating him. He is literally eating him. Hey, hey, my dear friend. Hey, the chef. You know what to do. <laughs> Monsieur Gluttony, allow me to set up your dinner table. <laughs> do not mess you up. We will run and dine in the fires of forever a milk mount. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yes! Bon appetit! 
No, 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 no. Gluttony, just pin him. Gluttony, please just pin him. Get it over with. Don't do this. Time for fried yum yum. <laughs> Come on, kill switch. Yes, switch back. Yes. Oh, that's it, my little ducklings. Get him. <laughs> Gets a taste of his own fire! Gets a taste of his own special ingredients! Ho 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 He's done! He's well done! Guns! Sending him to oblivion! Oh wait! He's going for it! Go to sleep! That was my friend! You No! You are paid! No, no, no! The Black Feast! Kills me, please get it! <laughs> Gluttony! Takes down Kill Switch! Yes! 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 If there is a man that can take down that psychopath, if there is a man that can tame a beast, it's the circus ringleader himself, the behemoth himself, Cyanide, the former world champion. Yes, he did not pin Renek to get the championship, but my god, did he ever earn it by absolutely dominating the roster. It is a new <laughs> And Gluttony right now, he might as well be looking at the polar bear because this man is just as big as one. And I think Gluttony might, Gluttony's heart might have skipped the beat. And yes! Bring it to him, Cyanide! <laughs> He's getting back up! Come on! Come on. Oh my god! He can. Oh my god, Big Boo! No mercy! No mercy! Come on! <laughs> Break his jaw so he won't eat anymore! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, absolute! He just gets back up! How, how do you stop this? Yeah. How do you stop this? Spinebuster on cyanide! <laughs> Cyanide! Cyanide! Using the fact that he's fresh to his advantage as he should! And now it's time to finish off his opponent! Time to finish off this creep! What the Oh my god! You've gotta be kidding me! Now you make me hungry! Really? <laughs> Yes! Payback's a bitch! Hit him, Cyanide! Hit him! Jackhammer! Jackhammer! Oh, he's not done! He's not done! Cyanide! From the top of Mount Olympus! Shooting! Star! Press! And that's it! Finally! Finally! Gluttony! Take the chef away with you! You're out of here! Son of a bitch. This. The absolute worst of the worst. The scumbag that he is. I thought Cameron Bash was a snake. I tell you, he has major competition. This slime ball literally used our family. And I'm talking about not just FAM, but uh, me, Bursley, me, Rom, and Renix family to play with us with this stupid mind games. And he's been tormenting Renix for years now. And now. The first sin to enter FAM and invade it as he slithers his way into the ring. And I hope Cyanide stomps the living hell out of the serpent once and for all. 
I would uh, usually call you off for the last commentary, but I get it. You made it very personal. Sign it. Do it, man. Do it. This is the grandest stage of the month. This could be the last stage of FAM. If Status is the one that ends up leaving here with everything. And if this is indeed the last war of FAM. I would love nothing more than to have this man's head as a trophy. man or something it's the weirdest thing I ever saw in my life and Greed just stood there and let it happen the absolute the strangest thing I've seen in my life then he just Nine. knocked out onto the announce table Ten. Time up. what the hell did Greed just do what the hell did Yet, ladies and gentlemen, is Renick without the colors of the sins? He has shed his skin away from the sins. The general of this army heading into the war against the seven deadly sins, his former home in Aura, is the last warrior standing in this entire battlefield for Team FAM. I would say we'd bet on Renick for sure if this was a regular team but he has not one not two but three sins to go through right now i know Renek is literally the strongest being in the sport 
thought they were talking about the seven deadly sins here. It's time you pay the price for what you've done, Greed! Oh, yes. I will gladly pay, Rannick. I'll pay any price to see you suffer. When I'm through with you, you will be begging for the sweet release of death to end your suffering. My dearest, most beloved son, make sure to always follow your heart. Sorry. Show no mercy. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. It's not enough. We all know it's not enough. Make him pay. End him. Finish him off. G T S. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Lisa. Our mother's name. Oh. Finishes you off, you bastards. You mocked. The woman that gave us life, and her name is the last thing you will ever hear, you bastard! One down, two to go! And I cannot believe this. And now I finally understand what Cyanide was going through when he basically was manipulated mentally by greed somehow, some way. But Renek's mentality, Renek's will, was just too much, too strong for the slimeness of the snake. Greed. I'm gonna replay this forever and ever in the rest of my life, man. Forever. The death of the snake. The beheading of the serpent. But before we get down the celebration, the cruel reality is that not just pride, but the original rat awaits behind the Colosseum gates. Hey. I think a bit... I'm shaking a bit right now because the original rat the man that Renek paid 14 years ago to take his spot in Aura returned at the Rumble with a vengeance and did something that I thought I would never see and that is match with Renek that is make Renek bleed will tonight be the same story will Rat finally fulfill his vengeance or will Renek burst through his former demon and finally claim his rightful throne as the strongest? Oh man, look at the size difference. Size doesn't matter to Renek. What matters is strength. And I'm telling this right now. Rat. Nine, whatever you want to call him. People believe he can match Renek. But will he be able to fully put down the original sin? Spins around. Oh my god. Rennick. Back body from my rat. Oh my lord. He's just... Oh, tossing Rennick. That's Rennick's move to the choke toss. Suplex. Oh, 
Go on, through. Rennick. Come on, Rennick. Another suplex. Look at him go. He's a machine. Oh my god. Suplex toss this time. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for Russ to have a little bit of fun. Let's try. Let's try one more time. Oh my lord, he picked him up like a kite, I would say. Oh my lord. Tit for tat, and Reddick is the one that goes down. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Reddick getting back up. Wait. Oh boy. And now he picked up. You can't make this up. Oh my god, he's back. You want to talk about envy and oh, 2 TM looking at the mirror. These two literally shared the same position. Literally shared the same name. Oh my god, is that exposed turnbuckle? Working on not just the back of Red, but the back of Red too. And now the chest of the original Sin is being decimated. Right there, he's not letting go. Oh my god, he's hilarious. Oh my. Nah, that can't be it. <laughs> Reddick showing once again why he is deemed the strongest, the most formidable, the most resilient beast of them all. And now there's a reason why Red was taken out 14 years ago, and that is because he was inferior, and I still believe he is still inferior to Reddick. But he might change my mind if this continues. Oh, Reddick does that kick! It's a kick of his own. Oh, wait a minute. Pedigree! The Founders Pedigree! Whoa. Oh, no! Okay, that never happened to Reddick before. A one count from Reddick's side now. Oh, oh my god. These two evenly meshed. Damn. I felt the tectonic plates of, the, of this planet shift. Oh, he is going for it! And oh, no! Reddick dodges! Wait a minute. And he picks him up! Oh, no! The speed of this man. That's why him being bigger. He's so quick. Oh! Ah. He gets a one count! Oh ho ho ho! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! Nine is pissed! Nine has never been this embarrassed before! The only man that embarrassed him was again Rennick 14 years ago! I don't, I don't understand. Rat, you're not facing any other ordinary man. You're facing Rennick. You should expect this! No! Artillery boot! Oh. What? <laughs> and he still gets a one count! It's going to take a hell of a lot more, Nine! And you know that! Getting up after everything Rat has put him through! That's gotta be something! That has got to be embarrassing for Rat! No! No! Oh, oh my god, it's DT! <laughs> now it's Reddick's turn to toy with Nine! Oh my, oh my god! Go to see! T! Yes! It's over! It's gotta. Oh man, what am I looking at right now? You're looking at two rats fighting each other to see who was the strongest. Lisa! What? That was the same move that finished off Rat 14 years ago! But then, this time, he had it scouted. He's waited 14 years for this, more than a decade, to get his hands on Reddick and face him off one on one. And he's trying to do what no man could do, and that is destroy the original sin one on one. What? Reddick getting back up, only to get put back down with an F9! The resiliency of Reddick! My god! Come on, bro! Get back up! Get back up! No! Artillery boot! One! One! There's a reason why people consider him to be the final boss of this entire empire! GTS! Pedigree! Pit him! Pit him! 
pit him, Reddy! That has to be it. Oh, I don't understand. Rennick, Rennick got a two count down. He's the first one of the two to get the fall. However, will he get the third fall? Oh, oh, the callback from the olden age of FAM. The ball and elbow. Oh! Only for him to get balled back down. Oh no, look at the hair, it's a snow. The Dominator, also known as the Irritus. Again. Doing it for seemingly a third time. No, no, no! No, 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 no! no. After three, 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 and then this is Rick sitting back up! Impossible! Why is this happening? I have been training for 13 years. Ever since you took my name, I am the stronger wrath, not you. You're right. You are the stronger rat. Because I'm no longer a sin. I am no longer rat. I am Rennick, FAM founder, SCS leader, and member of the movement. And you are invading my home. So, as my moronic brother would say, bring it. Here we go. Come on, Rennick. Finish it, Rennick! Finish it! Rennick did it! Rennick defeated Rat! Finally! The demon that has come back to haunt him! The demon that has vowed to destroy the original sin! The demon that was ultimately close to doing so was still no match for the strongest, for the most formidable, for the rat of the impossible. Why is this happening? As my moronic brother would say, bring it! The FAM people are cheering from the heavens as Rennick is just one step closer from ending this war once and for all. As he finishes it off with a sleeping pill, capping off the nightmare that was wrath. However, as one nightmare ends, another one is about to make its way down. Now it's time for the man that can't be touched. The final battle. Prepare for pride. leader of the seven deadly sins. The man 
that can't be touched and the being that Renick admittedly cannot beat. Tonight though, he has to do just that. Right now Renick not only has to pull himself up from the war after defeating Rat, he also has to defeat the man that he deems impossible to beat. The man that can reverse any strike, any move, any footstep. Whatever you do, he'll always be ahead. Renick, should you fall tonight, Renick will have to go back to Aura for seven years. And he will go back in shambles, knowing that the pride of his home of forever movement was shattered and that the sins were right that FAM was the weaker home that Renick made the wrong choice this this has been years years in the making Renick has to finally confront and end this nightmare Renick is physically stronger than pride he's physically stronger than any being but can he touch him Finally, it is time to meet your fate, Renick. But first, let's see if you've lost your touch. And they lock up! Renick, pride, test of strength! Renick, though. As I said, physically stronger! Hmm. It seems like you're still physically stronger than me. But... Crap! And now it begins! The man that can absolutely dodge and move around the ring like water! Formless! What's the point of being stronger if you can't touch me? Ready getting up! will take him down as many times as it needs to be. Renick do again will not go down. Get Lisa! No! Renick, please, get up! Get up! Well, I always despise this about you. You're way too stubborn for your own good. But now, I have an excuse to take my time and punish you until your bones snap. Reddick's resiliency is unreal. But so is Pride's skills. Just look at that. Whatever Reddick does, Pride has an answer. And he's dishing out embarrassing receipt after receipt. What do you do? What can you do? Look at... Look at this! What the hell? Swinging around the original sin! The being that can't be touched. What good is raw strength if you can't touch your opponent? Yeah, real tough guy. Real tough guy, Pride. Don't you ever face him, actually. One on one. Renick had to go through two of the sins before he met you. Just like at the Rumble, he had to face five of you to even get a shot. Hey, hey, Renick! Oh! No! Again! Just what I did. He caught him. He finds a way out of the loop. And captures his opponent into his home. And now he's just decimating Renick. But Renick will not stand for it. Renick will fight until the end. But the end might be coming soon. It's will. It's unreal and pride. Pride deep down knows that he has to do a hell of a lot more. He has to actually sweat 
to put down this nightmare. No. No. I might actually do it. If he punts his head. No. Renick. Renick. Look out. Don't let him. Don't let him. Oh, what? What? No. As he tackles him. Renick. Get up. His body and mind is encompassed with the strongest will. Radic will not fall. Ain't no way. No, right. Does not like feeling the same frustrations. That of Radic's opponent when he kicks out. And now he's just... He's just... No. Radic. Radic's been busted open. Radic's been... No. Oh God! Barrick is scalding with the metal posed over and over the top! Really tough. Really tough. You couldn't try and finish off Riddick with your own hands. You resort to those tactics, really, using the metal post. Riddick had to well go through two of the sins. And you, you rotten p- Renick, Renick, stay down, please. What? Please, please don't joke about this. Founding and straight edge society, brother! He's he's the seventh member of Team FAM! And this year to fight for it in the last tenth of this movement! This, this is unreal! How is Andy still moving after what Stigma did to him? Those injuries don't matter when your pride, when your home, when your family is on the line. Andy, don't get out of here. Wait, what? Why? This is all or nothing. If these bastards win, we lose everything. Why don't you want me to fight? <sighs> Cause it's because of I might end up losing you. Wait, what? Even if Rome is defeated tonight and this company is no more, FAM still won't die. What the hell are you talking about, Rennick? You fool! Do I have to spell it out for you? It's because even if this place crumbles, at the end, we'd still have each other. So please, just cram and let me fall by myself! <laughs> Rom was right. You are a softie after all. But you need to understand one thing, Rennick. We will never let you fall alone. <laughs> How pathetic. Words of lambs hanging to the slaughter. You're all destined to fall. And you can't lay a finger on feet. Just like how you can't even lay a finger on me. Yeah, yeah, how about you stop talking and fight? Very well, little sheep. Here I come. Here comes Pride! He, did, he dodged Pride! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hedy is outmaneuvering Pride! Whoa! Whoa! He struck him! All that work for a mere drop of blood. How weak! And he's the first man that made pride bleed! And oh, no! Come on now, Andy! Let's not deprive the world of Van Brett's hard work! Oh, he's taking off the eye patch! 
Oh my god. Andy Sai. Andy. Andy. He's, he's still fighting. What? How dare you lay your hands on me, you insect. He struck Bright again. And Bright. Oh, he's irate. Oh no. I am going to break your leg. Just like how you broke the sense of by taking away our wrath. Andy! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no. He, he broke it! He broke Andy's leg! He shattered his ankle! I eliminated Andy by breaking his leg in front of Rennick! This is your end, Rennick. You've disappointed me. You've disappointed your colleagues. You've disappointed your brother. And most importantly, you've disappointed your dear mother. You filth! You have the nerve to slap me! I am your superior! You're just weak scum! <laughs> What's so funny? I'm weak. And this week, FAM is weak. All you do is talk about weakness. I get it now. That's why you trained to make sure that nobody could touch you. So no person would be able to strike you. Because if you do get hit, you'd feel it. The truth is, the only one weak here is you. Silence! I am not weak! I am not weak! I am not weak! Weak! Shut up! Ain't no way, man! Ain't no way! He figured him out! Pride is a glass cannon! Break down his pride! Once you use his own sin against him, you crack him just like how Reddit cracked his skull open! And now it's Pride's turn to be beheaded! Do it, Reddit! Damn it! I do not yield! I am above you all! Pride! With one less reversal! Catching Reddit at the ankle lock! He's gonna do the same thing he did to Andy! And he's going to shatter Renick's ankle! Renick, if you tap out, that's it! You're going back to Aura! You're going to leave a FAM! And you'll become a sin! You'll once again become Rat! Renick escapes the ankle lock! Renick, do it! Lisa! Escape, Reddick! Escape! Your destiny! Make your own path! I believe in you! I believe in you! Finish it! Do it for an AM! It's over. It's finally over. Reddick did it. FAM did it. Forever movement has slayed Aura. Reddick is free. And the sins of this movement have vanished. Finally. Right. Did everything he could to beat down Redick. And Redick once again showing his consistent resiliency, his consistent heart for this place. His armor of will irritated pride to the point where he snapped and was literally tearing apart Redick's flesh using the environment around him and he would have actually decapitated Rex head off if it weren't for 
the impossible if it weren't for Andy Cattle, the founding FAEM brother of Rennick. Despite the gruesome injuries, despite the fact that he could barely walk, entered this battlefield to defend not just his homeland, but also his FAM brothers, and he had no ounce of fear in him. Stood his ground against the man that can't be touched, and actually not only outmaneuvered him, but made him bleed! And that, that crossed the line for pride. Let's not deprive the world of Van Brett's hard work. But this right here was extremely just disturbing to see. And he, his eyes were nearly blinded. How dare you lay your hands on me, you insect! And despite that, and he was still looking ahead to save his home. I am going to break your leg. This is how you broke the sins of by taking away our wrath. Andy! <laughs> so disturbing to see. And this, along with the insult, finally made Radek snap and finally lay his hands on the man that he did he cannot touch. And then he figured him out. Weak. Shut up! He figured out Brian's weakness, his own sin, his own ego. After that, Pride began breaking down. I do not yield. I am above you all. Just like I was trying to break Reddick's high kill. But Reddick, he escapes the hold that can't be escaped. And this, this is where everything concluded. This is where the bookend of this entire chapter concluded. This is where his fate changed. Redick hitting his own brother's move and capitalizing with our mother's name. Redick is free and FAM the thrones, the seven deadly sins. And with tonight being what it is, should status take control, or stigma kills FAM. Tonight, the soul of FAM shines one last time. Rennick, and the Badwell, and even Guns all came in for one last stand. Carries his brother off into the sunset, knowing they have left it all on the line. For me, for you, for all of us. Thank you. What the hell do you want? Whoa now, take it easy. I'm not here for any trouble. I broke your jaw. You smashed my head in. I'd say it were pretty even now. Then why are you here? You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking since the rumble. A man has time to do that when he has to spend three weeks in a hospital. And I've come to the realization that what happened between us, it should never have happened. Travis. Please, you don't have to. This place has corrupted more than enough friendships during the past 14 years, and I'm glad to see it no longer has a hold on us. I forgive you, man. We're cool. Thank you, Steve. It means a lot. Good luck in your match tonight. I know you'll do what needs to be done. I'll stop with all this. Listen! Out of all the people, this is... This is rich coming from you. It really is. I called because I believed that of everybody else here that's looking at me today. You would understand. You would give me support. Everybody else is turning their backs on me. But I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't. You... You betrayed me so many times. I should have seen this coming. What I'm doing... 
is for all of you. You never did anything but for yourself. And now, you're judging me alongside the rest of these people. I don't need them. And I certainly don't need you, BH. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Justin Leeper, welcoming you to the Justin Leeper Experience. All right, listen up here for a second. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm not going to be the typical naive bystander that doesn't know exactly how this is going to end. Come on now, let's be real. In about a minute or two, you all are going to come at each other and start wrecking this place. But the whole point of this experience is to air your grievances against your enemy so we can hopefully resolve this before you all start swinging. Okay, time to get it off your chests. Let's start with the ones that threw the first stone the data mining jackasses, pro wrestling mods. You see, you made two mistakes there, Bob. My good sirs, this fine gentleman's name isn't Bob. It's... Uh-uh. You try to play the hero on me again, and I swear to the WWE game gods, I'll end you like the SmackDown vs. Raw series. So you're swearing to us then? That's funny, because you also swore that we threw the first stone. But that right there is where you're wrong, Justin. Of course a blind peasant like you wouldn't see the disrespectful arrows being lashed at us for all these years by those filth known as the public enemy. Arrows? I assure you gentlemen that my friends here don't even owe a set of crossbows. And even if they did, they wouldn't use them responsibly. Oh, you absolute fool. You best silence yourself and let us speak. Hey, yo. We're not the ones beating around the bush. But we can clearly see you haven't beaten any bush in your lifetime. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't understand that reference, but I am laughing to show support. That was way out of line and uncalled for, just like your entire presence here at FAN. My dear adversaries, open your eyes and realize that, as they say, the floor is yours. We are here. So this is your opportunity to get everything off your feeble chest. Feeble? Oh, <laughs> feeble. That is rich. No, feeble isn't currency. It's an adjective. You utter... This group right here has been attempting to take what is ours. You've taken away our recognition. We create the most unmatched form of pleasure here in this realm. We made the impossible reality. We made dreams manifest. We created beings that were banished from this world and brought them back. But all those efforts, all those achievements that we offer the world has been overshadowed. Overshadowed for fools like the public enemy. You and your pathetic excuse of entertainment. What do you have to offer? All of you just sit around and verbally spout nonsense on a podcast. Oh, and of course, you post your little funny jokes on social media. That, that was enough for you to overshadow us? That was enough for you to surpass our followers? Wait a second. All this is because we got more followers than you? Bro. Bro. <laughs> Ain't no way you guys are here trying to act like gods and being this petty. Yeah, gods? Man, you reaching. All you do is just mod back in some two by fours and a bunch of trash cans. Yeah, that's gonna come in handy because we about to take out the trash real soon. Whoa, now hold your little horses for just a second. You guys may be the hosts of Thamiversary, but I am the host of this here experience. Nothing's gonna happen until I say get it on. Capiche? No one's gonna take out the trash until I say so. Just make sure to recycle when you take out the trash, children. Oh, don't worry. It's gonna be real good for the environment once we're done with y'all. Let's take out that copium tape they're inhaling first. Those poses believe that they're legit gods? As in, like, the big G-O-D himself? If that's the case, then no wonder atheism exists. Let me tell you something, buddy. What you guys do is impressive. We ain't gonna lie. We dig the stuff y'all be pulling out. 
Like the arena modifications, bringing back old wrestlers from years past, and even updating what's happening in real time. Not to mention those divas mods y'all did back then. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't us. We would never use our power to create such filth. Divas mods? That is, uh, evil. An evil that must be stopped. I need to investigate such a horrendous crime. My friends, please send me all the evidence you have in your files. It would be a big help for this great cause. We got you, homie. Just like how we got those fools outnumbered. And we don't mean our number in the ring. I mean our number when it comes to the numbers, with our followers and everything. You seem to have a problem with that. Why is that? Let's tell him why. You got a problem with that because you feel what you don't understand. That's deep. But let's be more specific. You don't know why or how such us insignificant peasants manage to rise and gain all of these quote-unquote followers when we don't have the skills like you do, when we don't have this cosmic knowledge that you possess, nor do we have the undeniable talent that y'all got. There's only one reason for that, because these numbers that we got aren't our followers. These people are our supporters. Our friends. Your big homies, right? Word. Yeah, exactly. We've got to realize this. Maybe, just maybe, more people would rather see three goofballs like us make each other smile. Maybe they prefer to laugh at our tweets rather than get bombarded with your pretentious creations. I think it's safe to conclude that folks would rather have a good time with their friends every day than having to visit a pompous museum every freaking morning and freaking night. That was so touching. Well said, my young sidekicks. I would also like to add my heroic two cents to this. Even I, as one of the most powerful icons on WWE games, <laughs> even I have to recognize that my name will not reach the heavens and be known to the entire wrestling world. Even if it did, I would never expect my fellow friends to bow down to every ounce of good deed I perform. If I do that, then I would be, as the kids say these days, capping. Oh, so this is all about friends. Well, let's talk about that. We have those, not as plenty, but way more powerful. Like you say, it ain't the quantity of the friends, but the quality. And Ron Buster, the general manager of FAM, he was your friend at the Rumble. But tonight, he has opened his eyes to everything. And now he is our friend. And not even your titles as host here can change his authority. And he has given us ample freedom to say what we want here. So just shut up and pay attention. We despise you. We hate everything that you stand for. However, what we detest the most are your massive egos. You come out at the Rumble acting the equivalent of circus tigers, bragging that you got invited to the cool party like some high school jobs. Then you start bragging about being the hosts of Fandiversary and pretend as if you're some kind of royalty around here. We're the royalty, not you. And then we witness you all dancing without a care in the world. Hey, assemble. How d are you? Are you sleeping? Huh? Huh? Oh, sincerest apologies. See, I heard so many of these types of villain agenda speeches that it's basically become like an ASMR video that helps me doze off. Bruh. Hey, yo. These clowns talking about how we're the ones that are bad influence to the kids, but ain't they the ones beefing about? Who got more social media likes? They love seeing them little heart numbers from their feed, dog. That shit way more contagious than kids stealing their mom's credit card to see some flesh for the first time in their lives. <laughs> I understood that reference this time. Uh, only fans. <laughs> We're done playing games. We're gonna- Hey, you, you gonna do what now? Yeah, you talked your little game. But now it's time for us to start talking and start spanking. Fools! In a physical bout, you will fall. Even the chat is admitting it right now. You have no chance in hell. Oh, hell is probably where we're going to end up going. Where are we about to destroy you anyway, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good punchline to end on. All right, I think we've heard enough. Screw it. I'm bored anyway, so let's get it on. Of course, just as we all expected, this thing is boiling out of control. This is what we're all here for, old man. Let them fight.
Okay, what an absolutely despicable display from Pro Wrestling Boss here tonight, folks. Invited here as special guests to help settle the differences, and what do they do? Turn the whole damn thing into chaos! Don't hate the models, Romare. Hate the game. It's my art! Epic Righteous doing battle backstage! And Righteous just sent the art flying through a table! Righteous Bomb! One, two, three. And again, we have a new hardcore champion here tonight, folks! We've had some hot moments here tonight, but Pro Wrestling Mods putting the special host in their place? That might be the highlight for me. What the hell is your problem? You know, don't tell me. Don't. Don't. I don't care. But what I do care about is this next match we have coming up for you right now. As for the first time ever in over four years, the FAM YouTube Championship will be on the line. And I couldn't think of two men more worthy than these two to challenge for it. The leader of D-Generation Fat and GTS Wrestling, Grimm's Toy Show, and the one and only Smack Talks. These two men have been the pillars of the YouTubers division in FAM ever since they debuted in the movement nearly a decade ago. And now, they'll compete in the ultimate challenge, the last YouTuber standing match. Only one of these men can walk out the FAM YouTube Champion. Only one of these men will be the last YouTuber standing. It's time to find out who it'll be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, time for the YouTubers to make their names into titans. Time for these titans to ascend to legendary status as we crown the FAM YouTubers champion. And also Slickstar, I must point out one more thing. This actually could end up being the last YouTubers match in the history of FAM given what, what we just found out this whole entire night. Well, that may be very true, Romare, but again, I'm not gonna tell you again. I'll let you let it slide. We added it with the rumble. Okay, it's a pimp named Slick Star. Get it right, a pimp named Slick Star. And I cannot wait for how it all goes down. And Grim right there, oh, he's begging. He's aching for his opponent to come here and make history in this last YouTuber standing bout. Here comes his opponent. The, in my opinion, most formidable YouTuber in the history of this movement, the ninja himself, Smack Talks, a former global champion in his own right too. Absolutely decorated. Smack Talks is one of the absolute best. I'm not gonna lie to you. Me personally, I'm a bit more of a Grimm's Toy Show guy. Uh, why, why, why is that? Is, is he like, oh, let me get, he's one of your favorite customers. Ah, uh, look, man. Business is booming and he gives me a good amount of money, so I can't complain. I love the guy. Well, I'm pretty sure he'll have plenty of gold to spend on you because he, if he came, if he came to you with that title around this waist, Oh, the Bucks go with him, along with the glory, and not to mention the possible unfortunate prestige of being the last FAM YouTube champion. That's what it's all about, that YouTube championship. Andy Folks history is about to be made right here 
right now. The clash between the titans, the ultimate showdown. Smack talks and grim. Two of the giants of this community are about to collide. Oh, he just ran at him. Oh my God! Oh, and Smack talks goes for a slice bread reversal into a shooting star, running, going fast paced. Time on the top rope. Breakneck speed here. Red Arrow already? No! Grim! Oh, he caught him! Oh my god! He nailed it! That was incredible! Oh. Already! Two! And, as you can hear the referee, folks! Three! Grim would occasionally go for the cover! But this! Four! This is not a normal match! This is the last YouTuber standing up! Grim! Oh, Grim knows that on the wheel! He's bringing out the wood! Six! Smack talk still down. Seven. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he was ready for Smack Talks to get up. He's not underestimating his opponent one bit. One. And he's the dish he got a serving right here. If he actually ends up doing what I think he's about to do. And nailed it through the tape. No. No. Oh, elbow right to the side of the head. Oh, oh. Went for a super kick. Holy, holy, whoa, whoa. Grim at the spin. That one. He doesn't need to dissipate that, though. Oh my, oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He caught him! He caught him! Again! Oh! More elbows to the side of the head though! Oh my! Oh! He's, he's in between the ropes! Oh! Six! One! Nine! And Grim landed! Grim is on the table! Smack Dogs caught him! Smack Dogs! What's he thinking? Oh, I don't know what Smack Dogs is gonna go for here! Whoa! Spring ball! Table. Two. That was crazy. Three. Dude, this has an even bit. Four. Two minutes. And these two have wrecked Five. each other's body limb from limb. Six. Seven. Count of seven from the ref. Grim showing tenacity, showing fortitude. But smacked off. Oh my god. Oh my. Folded his neck. He went for the pile drive but actually nailed it. Oh. The captain of Degeneration Fat Grim Stoy Show! Oh, oh, Mr. Red Arrow! Got nothing but knees! Uh oh, what the hell is this? These two going back and forth, what the? Oh my god! What the? That looked like a wheelbarrow face buster! And Grim's not done! Uh, oh, what the hell is he going for here? What, what is this? Crucifix Power Bomb? Yes! What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa! Into a Styles Clash! Whoa! He transformed it into a Styles Clash! And to a Buckle Bomb! Oh, we took out of it! Oh, Springboard! Mozart! What's that DDT? I can't keep up! Move after move, reverse and after reverse, till they still are clashing! Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is happening? This, this is too fast for me! Dude, what the hell was that? I couldn't tell you. Oh. Oh, man. Spanish fly. Ripcord variant. The Spanish fly to capitalize and finally cap off this unbelievable synchronized attack. And the red arrow. No. No, once again. He had him scouted, did Grim. These two were about to kill each other. No, he very power slam. Oh my, Smack Talks on his feet now. Oh, Grim. Grim was going for the top. He's beating him to the top. What the hell is this? From the top of Mount Olympus. One. Two. Hey, I really three. do not know. I just, I just. Four. You, you talk about giving it your all Five. in the back of their minds. They feel like this could be the end Six. or be all of forever movement right here tonight. And if Seven. they're gonna go out, they're gonna go out with a bang. And they wanna go out as the YouTubers champion. History. History is what we're witnessing right now. As Smack Talks goes for the head scissors. What the? To a deep six. Deep 
six by Grimm. Hey, Grimm go. Oh, five knuckles shuffle only to be derailed by Smack Talks with a drop kick and another one. Whoa, that's under. Oh, the slow attack. Oh, 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 oh. Now it's time for Grimm to dish out the pain. And he does. Will he finally connect his trademark move? The five knuckle shuffle. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, it does. No. Oh. Sizing up smack talks. Grim setting up. And he nailed it. He nailed One. it. And this Two. could be the end of smack talks. Three. And this could be the crowning Four. achievement of Grim. Five. Referee already at halfway there. I, I think that might be it. Six. Six. Seven. It's at count seven. This is it. Hey, I, I think I, I think it is. Oh, the smack is getting up. Oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. One. He bounced off the floor like a basketball. Back body Two. drop. Grip's back. Must be bent. It's four. Oh. Smack talk to the top rope. Look around, look. Look out. Oh. Oh. Matt Arrow. Oh. Red Arrow. He finally connected Two. to Red Arrow. After so many attempts. Three. It, did. it may only take one four. for him to put down Grim. Six. Down to six. Oh no. Oh Seven. no. I think Smack Tucks knows. He knows something we don't know. And then it's Grim is going to get up. And look at that. He predicted right. Grim is back up after that. I don't know how. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh now he's on the table. Oh no. Oh Grim. Grim is on the table. And Grim, wait a minute. Grim rolled out of the table already. Hey, Smack Tucks. Hey, hey man, look out. Look out. What the? Wait. What's going on here? Whoa. What's going on, yo? Oh my god. <laughs> Chair from from the top Three. rope and both landed Four. onto the table. A draw, you're right, but Grim. Grim's getting up, both competitors getting up, I don't know how! Oh, and he knocks down Smack Talks. I don't think this is gonna end in a stalemate slick start. This is gonna end up with one over and the other one going down. What the, what the hell? <laughs> Phoenix Splash Two. by Grim. Like I said, these two are gonna lay it all, all down here tonight. Four. They're not gonna leave this arena without going through every single ounce of sweat, every ounce of blood, every ounce of breath and oxygen from their body. They're gonna leave it all here tonight. And speaking of leaving, Grim, what is he gonna leave with Smack Talks? Where the hell is he going? What? Where is where are they going? I, I have no idea. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, what the hell? What's going on? And he threw him like a rat to a fire again! God! To the steel ramp! His hip landing, bouncing off, he's like skidding. Every, every time he takes his belly to belly, he's... Oh! Jesus Christ! Enough, man! And I don't know what Grim's plan is, but the effects are definitely... Just, just, just absolutely dastardly. Oh no. What the? Grim got her power bomb. Oh my god! Oh, whoa. Oh, he hit it! And he nailed it again! Wait, 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 hold on. It's not over yet. He's not done! Oh my god! What? And the second. Two. Apple juice adjustment. Three. On. Smack talks. 
onto the Four. steel of the stage. Five. That's it. Six. I, I, I think that might be that's it. it. Seven. I, I think that's it. We have a new, we have a new champion. Eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion right here. His name is Grim. Nine. Yeah, yeah. Oh. How is he standing up? Hey, yo. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Smack talks. Showing what? that he's not going down without the ultimate fight. And Grim is delivering the ultimate fight. Two. But he's just... What the hell is Grim doing? Three. Four. Wait, 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 wait a second now. Grim. Five. What's happening? Six. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. What the is this? Oh, this is madness. What? What is happening right now? Grim is next to that van for some reason or another. Why is there a van here? Now has him in a powerbomb position. God, not again. He's going for that power bump. But no, that's what he meant. He's going to buckle bomb him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he, he's fighting out of it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He, wait, 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 where's he going? Where's the off going? What the? Hey, get down from there. Hey, that's an invitation to a fight if I ever saw one. Hey, he's going to oblige. Yeah, he's going to oblige. These two titans are on top of the fan. And only one will end up being the last year Cooper standing. Who's it going to be? Smack Talks and Grim. Just the cars on the top. And they're trading blows. Oh, but... Grim not taking advantage though. Oh, no smack talks on his advantage. What, what the hell? Oh my god! Snap their driver! He just planted onto the top! Wait. Hey. Oh, Romare? Romare, what is he doing? What the hell is smack talks doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax yourself. Calm down, buddy. It will never be that deep. Hey. Get down from there. He's not, he not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. Hey, Smack Talks, for love of God. Nah, you don't have to take it that far. Come on. Oh my God! He's joking. <laughs> Come on! You gotta be kidding me! No way! He's. He he won't. You won't. No way! Get down, dude! What the hell are you doing? From the heavens, get down! Please, it, it, it's not that deep. It's not worth it. You can. No, 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 Slick Star. He's not. No, this is all just a scare tactic. You can't have the title if you're dead. Think about this. There's no going back from this, Smack Talks. Understand? You have a decision to make. Make the right one. Oh my God. That's it, they're both dead. Five. That's it, they're both dead. It's over. There is no champion. Six. There's no winner here. Seven. It's a Kevin. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a count of seven. Eight. It's a count of eight. That's it. Nine. Oh, wait, hold on. You going down? Ten. It's the FAM. YouTubers champion! Oh my god! Oh my god! What did we just see? He rolled out just in time! As you can see from the highlights here, all the crazy stuff that happened earlier in the match. Screw the, screw the, the, the title YouTubers, man. These, this is the best, absolute, most ridiculous battle I've seen in forever a movement, period, dude. These two titans clashed, and they left by far one of the most memorable battles in the history of this entire business. Look at this! How do you explain this? What? Look at this electric chair! And mind you, this was just a taste, an electric chair from the top of Mount Olympus, and going through the tables, and then the punishment was getting, was just getting started for Smack Talks. 
finisher after finisher, table after table, and he still, he still managed to get his body up. His soul still reached out and told the world that he is here to stay. He is here to continue to climb. Six. My God, did he climb? Where the hell did he climb? Seven. I, I was surprised by him bringing a van into the arena. And we see that Grimms was, was, was taking advantage of this part of the match. But this is also where the, the, the tide had turned in Smack Talk's favor. And I gotta give also the credit to Grimm. Listen, Grimm kept on getting up regardless of how many times and how many strikes Smack Talks dished up. Mind you, Smack Talks delivered an ultimate meteor red arrow on the body of Grimm's toy show. But at the end of the day, when the final clash came to be, it was Smack Talks that delivered the final blow. And you want to call that a blow? This, this is a death blow. This is, is, is just... What do you call this, Slickstar? What the hell? That's a, that is a, a Mortal Kombat fatality. He finished him. I've never seen anything like that in my, in my, in my, in my career here. A red arrow from the top of the heavens. This was incredible. Was the only way to keep down Grimm's toy jump for the 10. And mind you, you pointed out earlier as well. Just look at this. A red arrow from Seven. that took out both competitors. And like Eight. you said, Slick Star, if it weren't for Snack Talks, Nine. somehow, someway, rolling out and planting Ten. his feet down on the floor, this would have, at least this would have been a stalemate. Regardless, it was a coin toss at the end, but fate has sided with Smack Talks. Smack Talks is the FAM YouTubers champion, and he might have the unfortunate honor of being the last one. As tonight, Rob Buster and Stigma will fight on, and we'll see just if FAM will live, or is this the end? Will FAM have its final breath? And if it does, then Smack Talks will leave here tonight as the final YouTubers champion. He definitely deserves it. He's putting the work for it. He's definitely putting his body the line for it, for our entertainment, for his pride, for that championship. Much love, much appreciation to Smack Talks. And as well, much appreciation to Grim too. Two warriors. Incredible. Champions are going get it! Rocket D reverses! Drops right just with the boot! Oh! My righteous sense of lying down the concrete! Stick. I can't don't stick! The chase is on! Earlier tonight, we witnessed the crowning of new tag team champions in the Mafia and now, just moments ago, we saw the crowning of a new YouTube champion in Smack Talks. Will any more new champions be crowned here tonight? Well, we're about to find out, Romare. As coming up next, the FAM Diamonds Championship will be on the line as the champion, the Wicked One, L, defends her crown against the former champion, the Black Sheep of FAM, Jin Cruz. The history between these two women is incredibly dense, dating all the way back to 2017 when they competed against each other for the very first time in one-on-one -on -one action. From there, 
they fought side by side the members of AWOL in 2018. And ever since, they have walked down different paths. That was, of course, until the FAM Royal Rumble, when both ladies clashed with L walking out with her title. After years in the making, these warriors get to settle to do battle once again. However, this time, the stakes could not be grander, as the richest prize in the entire division hangs in the balance between them. Who will walk out as the queen of the FAM Diamonds? Whenever I see the FAM Diamonds Champion, I think to myself, what a shame. She won the first ever Diamonds match and then she almost won the title back at the Royal Rumble and then due to a minor injury was banished from the important Diamonds Championship match at anniversary, causing her to quote unquote side with Bash at AWOL. But we all know she did that because she was a coward at the end of the day. She ruined her legacy because of that. I don't know if she ruined her legacy. I mean, I mean, look, look, look at everything that happened to her from, from all the abuse she took from Rannick and stuff, you know, Vakel. Come on now. Yeah, and not only that, but she's proven to everybody that she can't do anything by herself. Forget about joining Cameron Bash twice now, first with AWOL, now with the family, quote unquote. But now she has this group with what? What did she call it? Dysfunctional? Yeah, it's the most dysfunctional thing that ever went into her career. I think you're being just a little too mean, a little, little, little unfair to Elle. Everything she's done, it, 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 she's, she's justified in doing so. Oh, wait, why is... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. What the hell is Nicole Sanchez doing here? No! No! The dysfunctional group just took out Jin! What? What? Why? Oh, it's starting to make sense. The, is this? I think she just forced the ref to ring the bell, made to start counting. No, 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 This, this cannot be... No. Yeah? She's looking for a count on victory here. The official, he has no choice. She sent her own posse to do the dirty work and truly in the most diabolical way. She's going to retain her championship at the anniversary of the greatest stage of the movie, a count out. I mean, you know, retain any way you can. I mean, I don't see what the problem is, really. Wait. No way. She's here! She's here! She's not gonna back down! Not from a beat down! Not from anything! Jin Sa Sha! Knocking down Sanchez! Oh! She dodges the belt! Jin Sasha! We have a new champion! We have it! Damn it! Damn it! But come on, the Saint over, the Saint over Chin. Hit her with one more big move, one more. Chin, Sasha, knock her teeth out. You've got her, you've got her, you. No. Damn it. Wait a minute. Oh no. No. Tabula Rasa. Chin, Chin. Yes. Chin, despite the beat down, despite the numbers game, despite everything. Jin's heart is still beating. Oh, it's going to work in the end. The Tabula Rasa. But instead, Jin fights out of it. Just like she does in her whole entire life. And now, she's going to go for it. Will she accomplish her dream once again? She has her. She has her brain by her sights. Jin Sasha. Jin Sasha. Jin Sasha. 
come on! There's Corey Rose. Grabbing the leg. Not for long. No. A drop kick. Come on. Oh. That's a retain. Damn it. No. No. Chin. No. And that's it. It's over. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Really? This is how we're going to defend the championship at Family Earth. Get out of my face. Get the hell out of my face. You're going to excuse that star. Really? 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 Look, look, things happen, okay? Yeah, coordinated attacks! Bite this coward! Oh, what kind of a legacy does this one have? Yeah, the FM Diamond Chevy. She, she shines brighter than any woman here in the division. Yeah, sure. Coordinated attacks? Romare, do you know what, what, what company you do commentary for? I do commentary because it's my passion. And apparently, this one has none of that. She only wants the money. She only wants the diamonds. She only wants the treasures. She doesn't care about her legacy. She doesn't care about her integrity. And she only cares about one thing. And it's leaving here as the last FAM Diamonds Champion. You know why is that? Because guess what? If Sigma wins tonight, then FAM is done. Well, I think L being the last Diamonds Champion isn't so much of a bad thing. Yeah, look at the bright side. You're so negative tonight. Negative tonight, yeah. Let me let me remind you one more thing, folks. It's nothing to do with just the diamonds. This has a, if Rob wins, then status takes over a fair, which is if stigma wins, the fame is done. And that means hell will be forever remembered as the last diamond champion. What the hell, man? What the hell is this night turning into? What the hell? I vehemently disagree with these fans here saying that she sucks. She does not. She can't be champion if she sucks. Wait a minute. Wait. Hey. Romare. Romare. Hey, now. Oh, my God. It's Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Hey, hey, hey. The Diamond Briefcase Holder! The Money in the Bank Empress! She, she... Oh! Oh! I mentioned this is the last night that could potentially have everybody featured! The last night for everybody, every soul to make their dreams come true! She's not gonna waste it! Valkyrie is cashing in her opportunity! Valkyrie is throwing her name in into immortality! No, there's no way. No, there's no way. Oh my god. Wait. Oh man, this is really happening. This is official. Oh god. Why? Why? Although the, the, the bell didn't ring yet. And there's Alonza. Oh. Deadlift. Oh, powerbomb. This dastardly diabolical just soulless in, 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 literally just a band of hyenas that don't care how they get the job done I Jin Sa Sha Jin behead Alonzo Jin for the save and Valkyrie Valkyrie no no oh my god what? Checkmate! Checkmate! It's not to be! This game is far, far from over! Valkyrie, you gotta get up though! You gotta get up! Yeah! <laughs> Wing Clipper! But Valkyrie! Valkyrie! Come on! Rise above the clouds! Go! And meet your destiny, Valkyrie! Not the Tabula Rasa, not the Tabula Rasa! Yay! No! Oh. Frankensteiner! Pile driving else head! The flight of Valkyrie! No way! She did! She did! She did it! She! Valkyrie! Oh my god! Valkyrie! This! The! Thomas! Champion! Valkyrie! takes 
home to glory! Valkyrie presents to the gods! I. I. <laughs> God! Take God! Valkyrie! Went through hell after hell! Onslaught after onslaught! Korek after Korek! The numbers came! After numbers came! And finally, just as we thought that L was going to screw the entire Diamonds division once again, Jin came back for one last shot, one last payback on her rival, which gave the upcomer, the rising star, the opportunity to become a supernova and declare herself the rightful FAM Diamonds champion. Valkyrie, congratulations. Now this is a woman I am proud to call our leader. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations to Valkyrie. God damn it. Scared nothing to me. Thank you, Joe Valkyrie. To gold, that's a little to you. Your entire career. The title that was always destined for you. But couldn't just grab it. Right now, it's in the palm of your hands. Right now, it can be wrapped around your waist. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up with an unfortunate honor. The potential last FAM Diamonds Champion. And if this is the last image we see of the FAM Diamonds, then there's no better way to go out. What a high note. Truly a fairy tale ending. That is only if, however, a stigma wins. The other twist of fate in this night is that if Rom wins, then status takes over. If you're loving Famniversary right now and want to help support this epic content that we produce, please consider becoming a member of the Movement VIP Club where you'll receive a ton of great perks by clicking the Join button underneath the video. Thank you all very much and now we return to our feature program. And gentlemen, tonight it has been truly historic for plenty of reasons. But coming up here up next. Wait a second, Romir! Look at that! What the hell are these guys doing coming out here? It looks like the hardcore championship action has pulled out into the ring! Righteous! Turning him inside out! Hold up, is that? What the hell is he doing here? Causing a distraction for Marky D. That's what he's doing. Ah, uh, no! The Hulk himself is hulking up! Big Righteous, look out! Big boot! And the leg drop! Oh, brother! One, two, three. And again, we have a new FAM Hardcore Champion here tonight. This is actually the same guy that started the night as the champ! It's come full circle now, baby! <laughs> of the shoving squad just shoving the referee out of the ring. Hey, no one said he was polite, all right? Wait a second. 
Is that a fan? That's not just any fan. That's one of FAO's biggest fans, Johnny D. And he's got the hog rolled up. One, two, three. The hell? This fan just became a champion. <laughs> it didn't get happen at fan anniversary. But wait, here comes Flannan. And Johnny D takes him down. But, but here comes Marky D. Oh no, 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 no. The numbers advantage is catching up to him. No way. This is about to be one short lived title run. Hey, hey, I know this! I know this! It can't be! It can't! It's. It's. Mass! Like the dude! Do this here! Valen now! Now waiting to see if he's friend or foe! He eats up belly to belly for his troubles. Mass Linkster, he ducks the boat. And now, he's got him up. F5, F5, F5. And look at this, folks. Mass Linkster isn't out here to take his shot at the hardcore title, no. He's here to make sure that these friends don't get a 2 one jump on Johnny D here! Johnny D now! Slamming Marky D into the mat! What a beautiful sight to behold, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, a member of the FAM Universe stands tall as a champion of this movement. God damn, what a night this has been. Getting to commentate FAM Universe has been everything it's cracked up to be and more. And it's not over yet, Star. Yes, we still got two blockbuster matches left to come. Starting with this, our co-main event of the evening as the self-crowned, undisputed FAM World Champion, Cameron Bash, puts his title on the line against the 2023 FAM Royal Rumble winner, the superstar, Sean Nova. Oh, hell yeah. This is the one I've been waiting for all night long. It's time for that imposter, Sean Nova to get that ass humbled by the main man, Cameron Bash. The bitter conflict that exists between these two men dates all the way back to the 2014 Rumble, when Nova attacked and took Cameron Bash's spot in that very same Rumble match. That night ended up being the night that blasted Nova's career straight up into superstardom, something we may have never seen if he hadn't attacked Bash that night. And let's not forget about what happened between these two come 2018 as Sean Nova stabbed Bash in the back to bring about the end of the most dominant group FAM has ever seen at the time in AWOL. Now, after nearly a decade of animosity between these two men, it's all about to come to blows with the most astronomical stakes on the line as whoever wins this match will not only claim the victory in the most intense rivalry, but they will also walk out with the scepter of this entire movement, the FAM World Championship. Does Nova have what it takes to make his 10 year long dream a reality? Or will Bash's reign of terror over FAM live on?
So that's the devil's deal. No walk. In order to come back to this great movement, has to win the Royal Rumble match again. What the hell is he doing? This was Goldust's last chance to come back. Because of you and your actions, the support behind Nova is bigger than ever. At Fam Anniversary, you will be defending your Cyber FAM Championship against him. The real Sean Nova must come back, and the only way that, that can happen is in the match that made me famous in the first place. I will win that Royal Rumble match and will go on to fan the first week where I'll compete in the main event for the FAM World Championship. He did it! Nova! Nova did it! Nova did it! Just Nova. The first time I ever met this man was a decade ago. Black Heron bought NGC from me, but Nova presented himself as a shining light that night, as he tried to use the money that he won from OTP to purchase NGC from BH so that he could keep it running when BH refused. Well, if you believed in that vision so much, why then, come one year later, did you attack me from behind with a lead pipe and steal my number one entrant in the 2014 FAM Royal Rumble match? Without that betrayal, none of this happens. And if that wasn't bad enough, four years later, when AWOL came to rise, I had forgiven you. But just like the first time, it was all a lie. And you betrayed me again at Cyber Fam Day 2018. Everything good about you is spawned from the very same type of act that you've spent the last 10 years telling all of us that you despise. I was the death of AWOL. I was the author of your opinion. And I did that for the heart and soul of the movement. And perhaps bringing in the son of a junky old man probably wasn't the smartest decision that I could have made. At the grandest stage of them all, I will destroy that monstrosity that you call a belt. This is yet another example of Nova doing the exact same thing that he has spent a decade condemning 2TM for. Cards on the table, looking at the scoreboard. I have more of a right to say that I am the true FAM champion more than you. You're a fucking hypocrite. Your time has been up, and my time has always been now.
February 6th, 2012, Sean Nova made his debut at Forever Up Movement where he became the FAM Intercontinental Champion. He also competed at the second Elimination Chamber at Extreme Rules of 2013 where he almost became the FAM World Champion. And ever since then, he has been on the chase. And that chase continued at 2014 where he became the FAM Royal Rumble winner. And an interesting side note here, very interesting. He actually took out Cameron Bash with a lead pipe in order to take his spot at number one in that FAM Rumble match to begin with. However, after winning that match, he was fired by Rennick because the original Sin deemed him a coward. He deemed him weak, but I doubt he sees him the same way now. Since he returned to FAM back in September of 2016, he has been on a roll. Also, he was never eliminated in the 2017 FAM Royal Rumble. At Anniversary 4, he won the Cyber FAM Championship in a Street Changes of Hell match in under a minute. And one thing that eats away at Cameron Bash is that he was the man that put the plan together to take down AWOL from within. And ever since FAM returned, he has been continuing the chase for that scepter. He has won the Rumble for a second time. Is this the culmination of all his hard work? Is this the end game for the superstar, Sean Nova? an unsuccessful venture back in 2013. Bash didn't burst onto the scene in full force until 2015 where he returned with the stolen Pandora's box from Vaniversary 3 to defeat Devil for the Cyber FAM Championship. Bash then relinquished his title in order to enter the Money in the Bank tournament which he won using his Money in the Bank to cash in on 2TM at FAM Pandora. At Anniversary 4, Bash revealed that he had been working on the background ever since arriving at FAM, forming AWOL, a revolution designed to take over FAM. Bash was defeated by Rannick at Cyber Fam Day 2018, losing the FAM World Championship and being forced to disband AWOL in the process. But on that same night, Bash was taken to the Aura Academy, where ever since he, the Sins, and Stigma have been plotting against FAM, trying to take it down. He stole all the FAM championships at FAM Requiem, handpicking his own champions. He defeated Guns a few months later to make his selected champions official, also earning a one-year Ironclad contract for all members of his group. He stripped Ben McKenzie, Luke Monet, and OTP of the respective Crimson, Cyber, and Global FAM championships and combined them to the FAM World Championship to create the undisputed FAM World Championship. From New York City, he is the 2023 Royal Rumble winner. He is the superstar, Sean Nova. And his opponent, from London, England, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed F. Champion of the world, Cameron Bash! 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is what it's all about for Sean Nova. That is what it's all about for FAM. The ultimate scepter of this kingdom. This empire hangs in the balance. And let me tell you something, Slickstar. I can and will always be the antagonist for Cameron Bash because he is by far the most unredeemable, the most cruel, the most vindictive son of a b I've ever seen here in FAM. And tonight, Shonova's is going to slay that demon once and for all. Well, but before we, we go any further, again, Romer, it is a pimp named Slickstar. How many times we got to go back and forth about this? As much as we need to, and here we go! The FAM World Championship, the Cyber FAM Championship, the Global Championship, the Crimson Championship, all on the line in this one match. As Sean Nova is right now immediately trying to behead this tyrant known as Cameron Bash. You call him a tyrant, I call him a great leader, but I have to admit that Sean Nova is, is taking control. He's, he's unleashing, unleashing hell right around Cameron Bash in this corner. Oh, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this match to happen. You have absolutely no fathom of a thought of how I've been dreaming to see Cameron. Ah, damn it, wait! Nova spun around from the spine buster and connected a DDT. Oh, Nova's been preparing for this for years. Nova taking control, but, but it's okay. Cameron's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get back on his feet. Oh, he definitely got back all right. Right back on his back though, with our super kick. Concussing the so-called king of FAM. And now Nova, is he gonna really materialize his feet? Yes! Stunner! No way! Kick out, Cameron! Kick out! Oh yeah, man, come on! Yes! Yes! The five to five! Immediately synchronizing it! Yes! He did it! He did it! Tap! Tap right now! Come on, Nova! Shades of anniversary four! Make that big we harder make that b wheel already make him suffer for everything he's been putting us through for the past nearly a decade now do you 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 crawl to the ropes you crawl to the ropes everyone man you, you need to stop okay you you instigating this enough of this i instigated nothing my man cameron bash has been instigating this thing if you admit it since 2017 back at the anniversary actually god knows when back at 2013 ever said that that ngc crap all oh, speaking of crap Cameron Bash reverses this, and Nova retaliates with a close line. Ah, oh, I can feel it right now, Slick Star. I can feel it. Oh my God! A suicide dive over the top rope, and he's not done. Oh my Lord! He pushed him right between the two announce tables. He's gonna push him even further right now, and oh, ho, ho! yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my man. Nova doing the work, he's doing the dirty deeds, and they're not done cheap right now. Hold on now. Nova setting up from the top of Mount Olympus. H -ball. H -ball. The Put him through the barricade. I don't think that barricade is the only thing that's broken. Karen Bash's spine is absolutely twisted right now someone check up on cameron and i'm happy to see it on the anniversary has been a spectacle and you know what just saying that just topped it even more all we need to do now is just throw him back in the ring and also just crown yourself the new world champion how can you get up from that explain to me he's gonna get up from that because what cameron bash does every time you knock him out and he gets right back up on his feet he, he it's fine it's fine everything is fine yeah, he looks like a cockroach, I admit that. Uh, you stomp him, he just gets back up. Remember, Cameron Bash got destroyed by Redick back at Cyber Fendi. Come on! I ain't see nothing. You kidding me? No nothing happened. Oh yeah, that's because that lucky bastard had the barricade covering him. Even the official couldn't see that freaking, oh man. Even, just look. Okay, this is a different angle. You can't, you, really, nothing, really? I blinked, I don't know. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> you blinked, you blinked. Just how when you blinked back at Cyber Fem Day, Cameron Bash was what? down and out. Cameron Bash lost to Renick 4 and 1. But right now, Two. it seems like he's gonna make up for it by having Nova get counted out all the way and retain Three. the title like a damn coward that he is. 
Look, it's strategy, okay? I mean, look, if Nova can't get back into the ring, then that's Nova's problem. I don't see how that's Cameron's problem. Yeah, Rennick beat him 4-1, and one, and now, because of that, he decided to put four championships into one. Oh, the poetic justice from Cameron Bash. Oh, the poor tyrant. Come on, Nova. Come on, Nova. Get back on your feet. Put this demon down. Oh, he put him oh, oh. He booted him out no, of, his own, of his own boots. Yeah. Yeah, give it to him. Give it to him. Forearm rakes to the face. Yeah, take off, take off that stupid makeup. This, this right here, this is your champion. This is, this is what a leader really looks like. Okay, fine, sure, whatever. But it seems like Cameron Bash right now is not only upset that Nova's showing hurt, he's also upset that Nova got the better of him in the beginning of this bout. And he's that close to getting Cameron Bash, but with this vintage maneuver from Cameron Bash, the camera clutch, I, I, I don't think I'm seeing a great future for the superstar, no matter how, how bright his name is in the stars. Well, Cameron feels the need to go deep into his bag and his own repertoire. And like you said, Camo Clutch is vintage Cameron Bash. So, I, look, I, I agree with you. I don't think I, I see a bright future for Sean Nova in this match right now. And I couldn't tell because of the Facebook, but is Sean Nova actually busted open? I can't really tell either. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. Uh, yes, he. Yes, he is. Oh, my God. Nova's face turned from... Uh, piercing blue to a crimson mask just in a few few seconds courtesy of the bloody hands of the FAM champion not world champion champion in general crimson champion global champion cyber FAM champion and world champion just oh. right now he's just pounding away on on his face but this this is what has to be done this is for all the marbles this is where it matters most the lights are brightest come on Nova Nova is getting clinched in. He's getting stretched. Nova. Oh man, I'm not even. Look at that. That's actually smart for Karen Bass. He's actually holding Nova's fingers, his whole entire hand and arm, from grabbing that rope. It's right there, Nova. Come on. Just push a bit further. Just a centimeter, an inch. There you go. There you go. He got out of it. Come on, Cameron. Don't let up. There we go. Ah. Oh, there we go. Come on. That I don't even know if that's an STF, but definitely a variation of that as he's stretching now the lower spine and the nape of Sean Nova. The superstar's dreams might actually fumble. It might actually crumble. If Nova doesn't get out of this, it's 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 game over. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It, when it's gonna be game over. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Nova, lead yourself! Those cruel hands! And oh. oh my god! He scratched him with that vigor! Oh! And break those wings of the dragon! Oh my god! And takes him down with an inverted kick! And now the tables have turned! And now it's Nova's turn to spill blood! That, 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 that's an illegal weapon! That damn ring! Everything Cameron Bash has done ever since arriving at FAM is downright corrupt and illegal. What show are you watching? Watch out, I've been what, way longer than you have been here, buddy. That's for sure. And right now, I can tell you this. If this is the last FAM championship match in the history of this entire empire, then I swear to God, if Cameron Bash leaves here with all the marbles, this, I, my life will be ruined forever. And that's t not even fiction. That is reality. I think you're being dramatic. I don't think it's that bad. Look on the bright side. How? Oh you you seriously don't understand the, the, the entire point of this night tonight. Oh, oh no! No! He's going for the leg drop! Oh, brother, yes! Brother, yes, indeed! Oh! No, oh, oh, my first, my first no! No! Snake eyes! Cameron, off the ropes! Big boot! Off the ropes again! And he dropped the leg! Over and up one more time. The second leg drop. One for a cover. That's it. We're taking it home, baby. Let's go. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, Damn you're it. not. Come on, Nova. Nova. Come on, man. We know deep down inside, it's going to take a lot more than that to take and ruin your dream and crush your entire ambitions. Oh, no. He's going for the checkmate. Checkmate. Whoa. What? Whoa. 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 He no. his foot. Oh, no. Cameron Bash! Oh my god! Wasn't one move ahead this time! 
Cameron Bash got out, spun and outplayed by the foot soldier, Sean Nova. Oh, he got him. Oh, Jack May. No. Oh, he put it to the table. Drew my table. No. That's the unrivaled, unmatched strength of Cameron Bash. Take it home. One, two, and three. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. You have to get it. You have to understand the will, the heart, the determination of the superstar. Close line. Come on. Nova's heart is still beating. Not an up. Got it, got shut down. And that's how you take control. That's how you snuff our offense. You see here, Nova is sizing up Cameron. Bounce off the ropes looking for another dive in this match. Cameron with the wherewithal, catching him on his shoulders and plants him through the announce table with a checkmate. Man, usually I would go on a tirade about my announce table, my precious little thing. But in this case, I don't care. Nova's health, Nova's entire body to me is way more of a priority than this stupid piece of wood right here. Nova, get up, man. Reverse cut. Damn it, man! Look at Cameron Bass with no mercy whatsoever, just unleashing a horrible and absolute dangerous amount of fisticuffs on the poor superstar. Look on the poor superstar. Hey, he knows what he signed up for. You don't enter a rumble and win. Hey, just to come here to fill it in. He knows who he knows what he's up against. He knows who's at the stake. I can't feel bad for him. This is what he wanted. Nah, man, this is different. Ah, oh, look at that, you see what I mean? Talk about different. Look at that cover. He's literally using his own teeth. First, he attacks him from behind. Then he goes low. And now, all of a sudden, a biting is legal. Absolutely. Yeah, when this turned into a no disqualification, man. Oh, you gotta be absolutely kidding me. The 5 2 5. On the actual innovator, the actual man himself. The guy that won so many matches with that maneuver right now. Oh man, I can't imagine Nova tapping out to his own precious, his own finisher. Absolutely not, Nova, you can't. You cannot. I love the audacity. I love it. Come on, Nova. Come on. Just, you've been fighting for this your entire livelihood. This is the match. This is the moment. This is the night that you've dreamed about. You're only a few inches away from the ropes, my man. Just reach. Grab hold and get the energy, find the light, and beat the demon. Just, just leave well enough alone. Let your dreams just be that, a damn dream. Oh my God, who there's? Who there's? The dream will outshine the nightmare. His ambitions will triumph the dastardly deeds of Cameron Bash. Oh man, Nova's not done. Nova is looking to put the world of hurt on the world champion. It's okay, Cameron, Cameron eats those. He's gonna, he's gonna get up after this and he's gonna dominate like he always does. Those elbows count the amount of people Cameron Bash has backstabbed in his entire career. And that's barely the, mi the bare minimum. Oh, Nova once again Whoa. on the top rope. What's he, what's he going for here? Oh my God, single leg drop kick. Oh, wait, Nova in the corner. Looking for that Vada Kadaver. No. Oh my God. Oh, he actually connected it. One, two. Kick out, damn it. Oh. Nova, let's be real for a second. Cameron Best is a champion for a reason. I don't want to give him credit for anything, but let's be frank, his resiliency is something to scoff at either. Oh, Jockey right to the jaw. Bouncing off the other corner. Another drop kick. Okay, uh, enough. You're getting your cardio in. That's good for you. All right. Uh, th th third time's a charm. Can you stop it, damn it? Never stop, Nova. Keep on doing. Go ahead and unleash all your energy, all your blood, all your sweat onto your opponent. And this right here is not just an opponent. This right here is not just a champion. This right here is the unredeemable villain of FAM. Go ahead. No, no one's going for staying stars, but Cameron Bash. That piece of. Beautiful diving spear from the middle rope. That's a one. That's a two. I, I, mm, mm, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. 
Nova kicking out of the spear from the top rope. This time with a wicked amount of force behind that throw from Bash. And not only that, from Cameron Bash's perspective, you gotta realize not only did he hit one of one of your best shots, you added a lot of momentum from that, and your opponent still kicked out. Oh, it must have been it. This must be absolutely driving this guy insane. And this is proving it right now. Look at that. Yeah, well, I don't think it was very conducive to, to, to actually winning this match. Oh my god, oh, what the, the strength! Oh my god! Superman punch connecting! With another spear! No! Please, not like this! Not like this! That's what you get for pissing off the world champion! You God damn it! Nova! Nova! Please! Please! Find it in your heart! Find the energy! Find whatever will you have inside your body to make this tyrant pay! Yes! Oh, leave from oh, oh. oh my god! Get out of the way! Oh no! The, the official's down! And. Run up! Oh, the super kick! Knocking out the champion! And Cameron Bash is out cold! And so is the official! Get up. Come on! Oh, wait, 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 wait! There's no. There's no ref! Nova can do whatever he wants. Oh, and so does Cameron Bash. Look at that. Oh, atomic drop. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. Screw that. Really? Really? You're going down low again for the second time. First an eye rake, then a second low blow. And now, what the, get, the, get the hell out of here. For first of all, it was a low blow. He dropped something. That's all it was. Yeah, he basically tonight he's going to drop that championship. That's for sure. But... That might not happen if he's gonna scam his way out of this one. That's what Kevin Bash always does in his life. Scam people, backstab the souls that he deemed as quote-unquote friends. And now he's gonna use that same championship, that same factor. <laughs> what the hell? Speaking of friends, what? look what a, the man that served his loyalty and basically vowed that he was going to protect Cameron Bash. That same guy, that same friend backstabbed him and removed his Cyber FM championship. He talked it though! God damn, get out of here! Oh, oh, the official is down! And so is Cameron Bash! Look for the Sending the tyrant flying! Are you kidding me? Hi. Isn't it ironic that Luke Monet was the guy that always came up Cameron Bash first? And oh, you f The Breathman! AC Archers and now Eric! Oh, we're even in the odds now. Thank God. Oh yeah. The two loyal rats that don't know when to quit. Finally making their presence felt as predicted. You thought that was gonna be a clean match. Oh, that was just a fantasy. And now, look, Monet. Oh my god! Saved by Nova! Yeah, baby! The Brit men are out! How is this all over the top rope? Come on! The former FAM Tag Team Champions are out for the count! And take the Lord! Oh my god! Oh! Yes! You've gotta be kidding me! You've absolutely got. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh look at the back bottom! No! Wait a minute! Reverse my Nova! Oh! Come Oh, you've got you, you, you piece of shit. Now I'm sick and tired of this. You go low for a third time. Oh, that's not the first time you went low. You backstabbed everybody that came in contact with you ever since the NGC days. Don't, don't you ever believe that I haven't forgot about that. Don't you ever believe that anybody's forgotten about that. Rob gave you a chance here in FAM and you spat on his arms. You spat on his face. You spat on everybody that ever worked with you and gave you their fate. And now you're gonna look at me in the eye and pretend you're somehow superior than me? You're somehow superior than everybody? Oh yeah, come at me. Come at me. One more. One more fucking word. Hey, guess what? Bite me! I'm not afraid of you! Shit, you and your propaganda. Braddock might have been able to save you from that steel cage back in 2018, but ain't no one here to save you now. Oh my god, that's 
That's Ben McKenzie. That's the former Cruiserweight champion before Bash took it from him. And he's, he's making a beeline for, to the ring. And we just saw what happened to, to Romare. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of feel bad for him. Oh my god! The Buccaneer boot! Cameron tried to meet him halfway. I mean, he ate that boot. He took all of it. I think Ben's calling for, for Cameron to get up. Cameron, don't listen to him. Can someone check on Romare though, please? Wait, who's this? Oh, it's OTP! It's OTP! Million Dollar Slam! OTP was also stripped of his championship. Oh, he starts. He's looking at Cameron. Trying to pledge his loyalty, I believe. Oh, wait. No one's trying to go for a springboard. Oh, my God. And a spear from Cameron. Wait, hold on. I didn't realize. One, one, two, two. No, God damn it. I didn't realize OTP has a ref shirt on. One, one, two, two. I don't understand. I don't understand. Count faster, damn it. <laughs> there you go, Nova. Show how it's done. Oh, look at that. You piece of garbage. First, you can't get it yourself done, and now you're gonna use the scepter. Oh, yes. Suicide. Suicide is here. Suicide! Oh, I know where this is going. Suicide and Nova are best friends. And Suicide doing the right thing for everybody. Doing the right thing for this movement. And making sure Cameron Bash doesn't run away from this one. And OTP and Suicide. Oh, their history. Their history has never been forgotten. And OTP has definitely not had, had the wrath of Suicide just yet. Before I even continue, are you are you okay? Are you are you okay? Huh? Sure, whatever. I'm okay. I'll be more than okay once Nova defeats that side of the bitch once and for all. However, Nova cannot win that championship with that scumbag onto the outside right there. Nova is the one thing and one thing only, and that is to drag his sorry ass all the way back to the ring and take this guy out once and for all. 3 FM from the stupid nightmare. Make sure this guy bleeds. Make sure this guy pays for everything. Screw me. Forget about what he did to me just now. Forget about what he did to my brother. He, he just freaking destroyed the people within so many times. It's time for him to pay you justice. It's time for him to pay. Look, I get it. You're 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 all passionate and stuff like that, but oh, oh my god, what back right job? But look. Look, look, I, 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 I think you should just tone it down a little bit. What, what camera just did to you was very, very jarring, okay? But this, this is how much it means to Cameron. Look how far he's wanting to go. There's no line he won't cross. Wait, no, whoa, not, that, not that far. Not that far. Come on, come on. You can't kill a man. No, far. get out of there. Yes. Beat him down, man. Beat him down. I can't stand the sight of him. I don't care what he did to me. It's all about what he's doing to our livelihoods right now. To every single being, past, present, and even potentially future in FAM. Cannot live with this guy here. He's Muay Thai like knees. That spinning kick right to the gut. Whoa, whoa, oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Oh. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Fight it out. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my! Uh, uh. I don't know what... Is this really how far Kevin Bash is, is gonna go? To retain a championship? Is this really how far we're gonna have to pay the price? To see this man have that gold around his waist, the life, the absolute, the toll of the human body, not only is being tested right now, it's, it's being bought. It's literally, how, how, I don't even know how to explain this. That was like a delayed uh, a pop up bash bomb right off the stage. I, I don't. I don't care what you call it. That, 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 that was a crime right there. That was downright cruel, downright sadistic. 
That was um, that was uncomfortable. And, and Nova hasn't moved. I, I haven't even seen his chest uh, expand a little bit to even breathe. I don't I don't know what's going on. That was um, that's okay. I haven't seen him move any extremities. He hasn't blinked. I I don't. That's uh, that's tough. That's really tough. What? Yeah, this is uh, this is over. Just count. Whatever. Somebody please. After the, I just ref count. Check on Nova. Three. For the love of God, it's, it's not worth it. It's just it's not the heat. Whatever. Look, um, clearly I've been. What? Wait. Heck. Huh? Huh? No, for, for the love of God, no, 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 just, just, just stay down. It's not worth it. Nova, I know Cameron Bash is a piece of garbage, and I know your dream is truly death of a knight. It's truly death of a lion, but for the love of God, Nova, just, 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 just. There is gonna be a future in FAM once Roms defeats Stigma, but tonight is not the night, man. Your back is broken. No, no, there's no way. Oh my god. I've actually made the count. This match is still on. The ref was 9.5, was a split second away from calling this match. I don't know if I actually want to see this. These people want to see Nova win, but I don't know if Nova can get through another move, another breath, another anything. And no, no, no! Oh my god. These, these, this, these triple power bar, I thought he was stopping at three. Oh my god. Look. Again, I, I mentioned it earlier, that's how much this means to him. Oh my god! Oh my god, Nova. Just... <sighs> Cameron Pash is frustrated, but not as frustrated as me as I'm witnessing this. This is uh, downright sadistic. Oh, oh, come on! Really? You're calling back to virtue? You're gonna finish off Nova with that? Whatever, just, just, just put him out of his misery, Cam, for the love of God. Oh, wait, he... Hey, yo! He got... Oh, form! Under the form! No, Oh, Oh, that's under... Off the ropes! Oh! Beautiful arm drag! Oh, no! Oh, twist the reaction! Is this how it's all going to fall through? No, 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 you get that shoulder up! Oh! I, I can't, I can't do this. Not yet. Not yet. You've got to be kidding me. Not yet. Nova, I don't know how you're doing this, but if you're actually gonna do it, go all the way. Go all the way and finish him! Oh! Shit. That injured midsection from those multiple bash bombs, the bash from off the stage. Everything. Uh, that, that, that affects... Oh my god, stop in the back of the head. That, that also affects the, 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 the bash bottom too. I've never been so frustrated calling something in my entire life. Man, just... I, don't, I don't know what he's, what he's looking for here. That's Matria. Whoa. Now, oh my god. The, the knees into the midsection. I, I don't know. How, he has to have internal bleeding at this point, Omer. For sure. For sure. I don't know how, how he's doing this. I don't know how Nova is still in this spot. I don't even know how Nova had just admitted defeat yet, but. This guy's ego, this guy's pride, will never admit f facts. Oh, and he will never admit defeat, as I pointed out. He will fight until every ounce of blood has left his body. And I think Cameron Bash is going to make sure that that's going to be the case. He's going for a checkmate from the top rope. Hell no. That's it. That's it. Oh, 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 right there inside the head. Nova. What, what's, he, what's he going for here? What the hell? Hey! No, 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 no! Stutter! Stutter! If there's a way to put down this dragon, it's with that. No hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh! An inverted superplex! All the way! The top to the pavement! Oh man, come on now. How much more can these, how much more can anybody take? And if their souls haven't left their bodies yet, that is damn well close to being so. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I can guarantee you that much though. If these men ever left, I'm pretty sure Cam is going down. Nova will go up. And I don't think Cameron Bash even cares. Cameron Bash is gonna do whatever it takes to relish in this one life God has given him. And he's gonna do whatever it takes to preserve the riches. He's gonna do whatever it takes to leave here and his legacy be known as the one true king of this movement. Oh man, what the hell is this now? He's just eyeing down Nova. Nova bloodied Nova, nearly concussed. What the hell is Bash doing? What the what the hell? God the Um I I look after everything we just saw, I don't I don't I can't even imagine what's going through his it, it, through his head. The world champion, crimson champion, cyberfm champion, global champion, the champion, ladies and gentlemen, is now bringing in a freaking ladder. And what oh wait, no, 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 I I I think I have an idea. I'm having deja vu. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. I, I, I. The literal virtue signaling right now. And I believe I can see what Cameron Bash is planning. This is a callback to Family Verse 4. If I'm thinking and I'm believing, yep, there we go. He's actually doing it, Slickstar. He's gonna go and climb and land on Nova but Nova. Nova! Racing Cameron Bash to the top! How's he, oh, how's he doing this? Uh, stare off. As the champion and challenger face off, only one will literally remain on top as the other one will fall. Cameron with the right of his own. Seven years in the making. We never thought we were gonna see this be the end game of the FAM World Championship. He's choking out Nova. Oh, but Nova retaliates. Retaliates. Will Nova leave here as the potential champion? He could actually leave here as the potential lost champion of FAM. Stutter. Stop. No. Oh, with a high rate. Damn it. Put him away, Cameron. Put him away. No. What is he doing? No way! Great googly moogly! Jesus Christ, no. No, 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 no. Just pin him. It's over. The bash bottom from the ladder. That's literally 10 meters. Oh my god. That's it. It's over with. He's done for. You see the, the, the eye rake. Nova was disorientated, couldn't see anything. Cameron hitting him with his magnet, bash bottom off the top of a ladder. A desperate maneuver has concluded with Sean Nova suffering the ultimate guillotine, the ultimate judgment, courtesy of the tyrant, courtesy of the dictator, and courtesy of the champion. It's the final nail on Sean Nova's coffin. It's over. It's gonna be the final. It's gonna be the final nail of Nova's career. All Cam needs to do now is just, yeah, I have to admit it, it's just lay down and, 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 and yeah. oh god, no. Oh no. Oh. Yes! Oh! I, what? How? I, I how? 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 Nova, how? 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 Nova. What the hell is it? He needs to be tested. Enough of this. He needs to be tested. Someone drug test this man. Oh, my God. He's fucking brain He can't do anything. Nova's will is absolutely made of platinum. It is absolutely undying. He will not bow down to this king. He will not stay down for anybody. And he damn will not surrender to a tyrant like Cameron Bash. Come on, Nova! Come on, Nova! Yes! Drop the hold! No! What? What? Oh my god! Oh! Make him suffer! 
There you go. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. I think he's just, he's just scratching and crawling away. He's not even resting anymore. He's just. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Damn it! Cameron Bash! Oh. Now he's scratched the back of the contender. Turnabout's fair play. Cameron taking control after Nova was looking like a, a wheelbarrow. Uh, a Nova came stunner. But now Cameron taking control with these with these German suplexes. And you keep suplex. Put him on his neck, damn it. You keep suplexing him. It needs to end. This saga, this story, all of it needs to end tonight. We can't keep doing this anymore. Oh no, we can't keep doing this anymore. Because that's why it's so important for Cameron Bash to go down. His reign, his darkness, that eludes the FAM gold, that eludes the entire FAM locker room, needs to be put down and put down for good here tonight. Don't you kick out, damn it! Please, Karen, please! Oh! God, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I can't breathe. I can't do this anymore. Oh, but go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Keep on doing what you gotta do, Nova. Take down the champion. Take down this, this monster once and for all. This irredeemable bastard. Oh, my God. Northern Lights. Into a pin combo. One, two, please, Kim. What the hell? I'm moving by like this already. Whoa. Enough. One, two, kick out, please. Oh, how? His, his ribs have to be messed up. His back must be broken. He must have internal bleeding. His organs must be uh, beat to shit. How is he able to move this right now? How is he able to breathe? Where is he getting this from? Drug test this man, damn it. Sure. Freaking will, slick start. That's all it is. That's all Nova needs. As he goes for the six stars. And if he concludes with that, Sean Nova will be beyond the superstar. He will literally be a supernova. Yeah. There you go. Stunner. Stunner. God, what? And now a sleeper hold on Sean Nova and the fire. That was turning Nova Star into a literal sun is being put out by the champion. Just go to sleep. Just, just go to sleep. Nova, please, you can't. You're so close, Nova. You're so close. Nova, don't blink. Nova, if you fade into the darkness, you'll fade into a nightmare that will never end. You will regret this moment for the rest of your life. You would say, if only I did this, if only I opened my eyes. Please. Nine years, nine years you've been waiting for this. Fight for it, get up and fight for it. You've really let this one go to shit, haven't ya? Oh, I don't see Dark Metal, what do you mean? Like the official has anything to do with this. Hey, boys. Ladders, a fucking claw. He's out cold for fuck's sake. You, you really want to see this one go the distance, don't you? It's not just us, you idiot. First of all, you started it. You don't want to be the guy responsible for ending the dream, do you? Come on. Now. That referee is sweating, and so am I. That's not true. That's not true. Well, look at this, folks. We found ourselves a Sean Nova fan. Listen, it's not that he's a Sean Nova fan. It's because we just want to see you go down. And secondly, you're the one that brought all this madness. You want to get yourself the killed? Oh, no, no, no. Don't push this. You've already gone too far. Don't, don't you dare. Nine years. And every second of bullshit you let fly this match. You're gonna end it all over one little chair shot? No. No. Cam, you absolute dog. You cannot. Just end it. No! Oh no, wait, what? Hey, man, I don't even. This official. Oh, come on! Just... 
disqualify him. Just, just, just do something, anything. You can't, I know. This ref is incompetent. No. Uh, he has to no. be. I'm convinced. No. This guy really just wants Nova to, 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 to take this. Man, this tank, that metal is bent. Nova, any chance, any slight hope that Bash would lose that championship. Even the official wants to see it. We want to see it. Whatever it takes. And I guarantee you, Nova feels the same way. Regardless of the fire he must be feeling in his spine. Regardless of the pain his body must be going through. And no, no. That's it. Bash bottom. There's, I, I, I don't, I don't. Nova will not step down from this battlefield until he goes to distance. Nova will not go down until Bash does. And get, get. Oh, oh, my God, Cameron! Why? Why? Just because things don't go down your way, that's just for Cameron Badger's motto. It's my way or no way. I'm the king. Screw friends. I will find any opportunity to backstep any single soul. They've never seen a more selfish bass. I've never seen a bigger wreck. I've never seen a large monster the size of Cameron Bash. He has no heart. He's basically an exoskeleton. He's a reptile, a snake, a crocodile, whatever you want to call him. He's as cold blooded as they come. Are we not going to hold Nova accountable here? Lucifer literally in real life. The devil manifested right in front of us. And he's been here for nine freaking years. And now he's going to end Nova with the scepter of this movement. The scepter of his entire empire. Nova! Nova Kate Stutter! He dodged it! I don't understand. Wait! And now Nova! Nova's got the championship that he's been alluding to in his entire life! My nose. An announce eagle, a ladder, a power bomb off the stage! Home for this ugly piece of shit. Game over. With his own sword, he takes down the king. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. This. This is it. Cameron Pesh's blood. Stained his own crown jewel and another official oh my god hey hey this is it this is it everybody we're about to witness history that nightmare is about to be vanquished Nova do it seal it Our world in this nightmare is finally over. We finally woken up. Sean Nova, however, his dream, his dream has just started. After nine freaking years, Sean Nova's redemption has finally come true. After 11 years in this movement, throughout all the darkness, throughout his debut. 
throughout the trail, throughout the darkness of a wall, throughout the empire's fall, and finally, through the absolute carnage of the seven deadly sins, Sean Nova paved his way, Sean Nova has inscribed his legacy, and Sean Nova has transformed and evolved from a superstar into a literal supernova. What, what a journey. I, I don't even know how to react, I don't even know what to say. We thought it was all going to end right before it could even begin with Sean Nova. Because Cameron Bash literally pulled out all the stops, went beyond throwing the kitchen sink. He went even below the sink. He went through the sewers, to the rat infested baggage. He calls his own maneuvers. I'm sorry, you call a low blow, an eye rake, chair shot, swings of the belt, ladders. You call those maneuvers. I call those desperate tactics. And you know what? His former friends, Luke Monet, his former loyal foot soldiers, even finally see the reality. The reality that Cameron Bash was not a knight in shining armor. He was just a caveman. He was just a behemoth dressed in all fancy gear and tried to pull one over just everybody. Let's go back to NGC. Let's go back to AWOL. Let's go back to Cameron Bash's entire livelihood. He has screwed everybody he has ever come across. Backstep every quote unquote friend that ever paid this way, including OTP. I don't even know why that threat came out here and pledged his loyalty again to that shady bastard. And if it wasn't for suicide, God bless his soul. God bless him for making sure we don't see this end the way Cameron Bash wants to end with a quick count. Oh yeah, that's how he want to end the potential last FAM World Championship match here for sure. And yes, I say ladies and gentlemen, because up next it could be the end all be all of the FAM as Sean Nova leaves here with the championship. It could be the last time we ever get to see the FAM World Champion live with Nova finally, finally slaying the demon. It could all be an unfortunate honor for Shonova because Ron Buster is going to fight Stigma next inside the do or die hell in the cell. Death or a lie for FAM. But before that happens, I, I just need to enjoy this moment because I thought we would never ever see this. I thought literally that what I'm feeling right now was just fantasy before this night even happened uh, like th <laughs> I dreamt of this moment slick star <laughs> I'm speechless I'm, I'm speechless too I, I, I don't I don't know what to say Like, I'm sorry for not being professional and calling the replays, I'm just... I, I, yes, this thing has been the absolute hardest, the most emotional roller coaster I've ever been through in my entire livelihood commentating FAM for the past 14 years, man. 14 years I've been here, and I've never been so happy. I've never been so happy with an outcome of a match. Ever. I'm so proud to actually say that the end of this long dark tunnel we finally reached the light first FAM prevails against the synths and now FAM prevails against the tyrant I... hey man it's hey, not even me shout out to that official for literally biting his own teeth for literally sticking it out for Nova. Nova wanted this to happen. Nova was willing to go to the ultimate punishment and dance some in order to have a glimpse, in order to have a chance, an opening to seal the fate of that tyrant once and for all. And this was it. That son of a bitch was too greedy and was too desperate and he paid for it. He found the opening gap that he made himself with that championship and Nova. Oh. Justice! I've been waiting nearly a decade for that! And now Cameron Bash swims in his own pool of blood! 
And this was the moment that would go down in history as the brightest moment in the history of this movement. As Sean Nova slays the dragon with his own sword. Sean Nova puts down the king. Sean Nova takes out and pushes away the emperor from his throne and takes away his scepter. And finally, after winning two Royal Rumbles, after screw job after screw job, Sean Nova becomes the FIM World Heavyweight Champion. Sean Nova has the ultimate scepter. Sean Nova has the Global Championship, Crimson Championship, Cyber FM Championship, and the entire world in the palm of his hands. And I tell you now, Slickstar, we are indeed in good hands. I... I fold. I fold. I... I am... I'm proud of what I saw for Sean Nova tonight. I'm a Cameron Bash guy, but... How could I not think that this isn't a feel-good moment? It's been an honor and a privilege to call the highs and the lows of the superstar. But tonight we celebrate. Tonight we toast to the absolute legend that Sean Nova. Tonight we celebrate the birth of a champion. Tonight we thank the superstar. Anniversary 5 will go down in history as the absolute pinnacle of this movement. And it's all thanks to the beacon of hope. The one that never shunned away from heart. The one that never shunned away from hope. The new FAM King. If you're loving Famniversary right now and want to help support this epic content that we produce, please consider becoming a member of the Movement VIP Club where you'll receive a ton of great perks by clicking the Join button underneath the video. Thank you all very much and now we return to our feature program. I'm sorry, brother. We tried, but those titles simply eluded us tonight. Boys, listen to me, all right? What the two of you have done for me since we came here to conquer FAM, there is nothing that will ever be able to do to repay the pair of you. You have done far beyond what was asked of you. And just like me, you put your literal blood into this and that's a bond that will never be broken. You guys did a tremendous job to say the least. You two rest easy. This match, this one is mine. Andy, Radic, are you okay? Thank you. Thank you for protecting the heart and pride of FAM, your injuries. Your blood, your tears, they will not be in vain. I promise you, I will beat the FAM's last obstacle. I will beat Stigma. And then, all of the movement shall live on, stronger than ever. What is all this? I wasn't expecting silence from all of you people. Especially you, Andy. Say something, damn it! You fool, Rom. What? Can't you see? That we have realized something today. When it comes to this empire that the four founders built. You do care. You care solely about FAM, the name, the place, the empire. You don't care about the people in it. You don't care about the FAM members. That's not, that's not true. Silence, Rom. I'm not finished. You always poised yourself to be the savior of this place. 
the peacekeeper, the ultimate martyr. However, after all the knives that you endured on your back, one of them managed to pierce your heart. Your body and mind are still moving, taking and delivering damage, doing what you believe is mathematically the best options for the brand, but never about the people behind it. And now, you make the most soulless decision by selling our empire to a fiend-like status. Sure, the members will become more disciplined and we turn into a powerful army. But that isn't what we created FAM for, Rom. Me, Andy, Guns, and even Alex. We built this place for human beings. Whether an ally or an enemy, every man and woman who stepped foot in our empire and stepped into that ring had a soul. And now, you're going to be taking that away from them. It's a shame. You always wanted to be the ultimate protagonist of FAM. But here's the reality of the night. Should you win, then every member will be chained up like slaves. But if you lose, then you should go down in history as the final antagonist of FAM. In reality, FAM would be better off. Shut up! J just shut up! You want to talk about reality? Well, the reality is that I am the general manager of FAM, and I earned that title by beating you at Famniversary 4. So that makes me the leader around here, and as leader, I have to see things that the rest of you can't. And I have to see the wider picture, the grander scope. I am the one that has to protect my people. Look at all of you! Broken legs, scarred flesh, wounded organs. What's the point of the soul if one doesn't have a working body, huh? Under status, none of my members will suffer like this. None of my members will be weak. And FAM will be an impenetrable united army. Not Cameron, not Stigma, not AWOL, not the Switchblade Society, and not even the seven deadly sins. Nobody will be able to hurt us anymore! Rom, getting hurt and getting up is what makes everyone here human. And we did that together for 10 years. And we have gotten stronger. We defeated the sins together as a family, not as an army. And what did you sacrifice? Now none of you can move! Well, you see, Rom, I'd rather be a paralyzed free man than a capable slave. You've always been your own downfall, Rom. And now tonight, you'll be the cause of everyone else's. Is that so? Okay. We'll see about that now, won't we? Alright, Romare. I think this is where I go and take the old dusty trail. What the hell are you talking about? It's been real, man, but this main event coming up? I don't know, this is out of my league. This is way too serious for my satirical ass. And besides, I know how much this one means to you. You should take this one on your own. Jeez, well... Okay. Okay, yeah. You're right. I appreciate that, man. I do. Despite your pimp hating, you're a good dude, Romare. Good luck, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I say this a lot, but this is the truth. Tonight has been perhaps the most special night in the history of this movement. After a long last, the Mafia finally got their big moment by winning the FAM Tag Team Championships. The Diamonds Division has been given new hope thanks to Valkyrie cashing in her money in the bank. The YouTubers have ascended to new heights with the most impressive match we've ever seen from that division. Renek, along with the rest of Team FAM, finally brought an end to the nightmare known as the Seven Deadly Sins. And after so many years, 
The boyhood dream has finally come true for Shonova as he finally becomes the FAM World Champion. However, with the main event of the evening coming up next, we're about to learn if all these moments were for nothing. As the FAM General Manager, Ron Buster, goes one on one with the Wolf King, Stigma, inside of the life or death. Hell in a cell! When this show started tonight, it was clear what needed to happen in this match. Rumbuster needed to win to stop Stigma from enacting his plan of killing FAM so that this movement could live on to fight another day. But, but, after the revelations that Status revealed to us earlier tonight, I just don't know anymore. Because if Rumbuster wins this match, then tomorrow morning, forever a movement will fall under the control of the Emperor himself. The FA members will turn into slaves. I don't know. I don't want to say it, but I don't know if FAM should, if it should. With both of these futures seeming equally as bleak as one another, all we can do now is sit back and watch. I used to rule the world, seas would rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning I sleep. Alone, sweep the streets I used to own. Do you know what I called the first few years of FAM? I called them the glory days. The problems we faced back then hail in comparison to the types of problems we have faced since. Darkness just started to take over this place. And for the last 12 years, we've been at war with ourselves for control over each other. It's, it's, it's sickening. The fight for the power of FAM has gone on for far too long, and you're tired of it. But believe me, folks, no one is more exhausted by it than me. We are the reason FAM cannot exist in peace. I am engaging in the process to sell the company. All you be remembered for is the guy that jumped ship when all his brothers got destroyed by my hands. As twisted as the FAM founders were, no one can deny their skills, their legacy. There's a reason why they were all in the positions that they were in. And yet, those were the four men that had to be taken out in order to get to you. You're really the final boss at the end of this hard and treacherous road. Tell me it's not that easy. You would rather the hollow shell of FAM live on without you, instead of manning up and fighting for your home. It's pieces of garbage like you that make this decision necessary! You just can't move on, can you? This is about righting the wrongs of the last 14 years. Bash, Pride, Andy, BH, Hell, even my own brother Rennick. You just can't get over the past and let it go. This is about paying for every single injustice this place has been responsible for. I'm done playing the good guy now. I'm done acting like the hero. This is about killing the cancer that should have been taken out a long time ago. The only thing ending when our fight is over isn't FAM. It'll be you 
The message has always been the same. That will become a reality. At Famniversary, I destroy you! Inside hell! In a cell! At Famniversary 5, FAM will fall. Seems like the entire atmosphere has changed. The perception of stigma from being viewed as a cancer to possibly the only way out. Stigma has set his path towards vengeance since the early years, all the way back nearly a decade ago. But tonight, vengeance might actually be mercy. Tonight, death might actually be remorse these people do not know how to feel not even I know how to feel stigma is the grim reaper himself but should FAM live it'll struggle it'll be in pain just like how my heart is right now Ron Buster wants to keep FAM alive no matter what but maybe right now no matter what is just too much
or debt. Possibly the last ever match in forever a movement. This, this is it. Will we live on in pain? Or will we die in peace? This... This changes everything. Crumbuster, Buster, Manager, eyeing down Stigma within Devil's Gates itself. And now, Stigma pounding it away at Ron Buster. And Ron Buster! Fighting back, but the crowd also is fighting back with their own opinion, their own view of things in this situation. Stigma! Oh, he was going for the coup de grace right there and there! And that from above. Speaking of above, Rumbuster thinks he's above everyone in this viewpoint, in this decision. This destiny, whatever he deems it to be, I, I just don't know. I really don't know. Rumbuster. He thinks he is suffering for us right here. He thinks he's fighting for us. I mean, it could be that too much fighting for, for what is right, actually. Besides FAM, this is more than that between Stigma and Rom. As Stigma leapfrogs above Rom and sets him up only for Rom to reverse right there. And these two going back and forth. Roll over by Stigma. Cut. My. Rom could be Adam scouted. Again, Rom Buster is possibly the only one to ever defeat Rene cleanly one on one. To have, that's why he's the general manager of FAM. And unfortunately, oh my god, the Anaconda device and forcing that victory from all those years ago back in the anniversary four might come back to haunt us. The dream it could be turning into a nightmare. And Stigma reverses and gets out of it. The nightmare for Stigma could end here tonight as well. But it will never end if FAM lives as Rom continues to fight back and fight for what he believes in and fight for the future of FAM no matter how grim it is he wants this empire to live on he wants these people to be stronger but the cost is too much I was going for a, a GTS or a sleeping pill but Stigma reverses only to get caught with a spine buster And the shades are off as Rombuster gets set to deliver to Malty's elbow as he plans to pierce the heart of the Wolf King. And pay him spade. This isn't settled just yet. But Rom is looking to settle it in another way. In a barbaric way. Oh no! Oh! Jeez. To the unforgiving steel that surrounds the ring. Stigma's back, whiplashing, and his head bouncing. Now on the apron, but before that, just hung the steel. This isn't the same Rumbuster I come to know. This isn't the same brother I grew up with. This. Oh, he was going for the multi destroyer, but it's dead! Stigma got him with the original sin! FAM, it's over, Pitts! It's, it's still not over. It's still not over. I don't know how to feel about this. Whenever Rom kicks out, I feel. What the. Merc? What is Merc doing here? to TM. There's nothing more can do physically. The cell is locked. I still don't. I, 
Oh. Wait. Run! Oh! Oh, oh my! Strong actually went low! Whatever it takes in this situation, Rumbuster doesn't care about morals. He cares about securing a future for this movement, for this empire. Oh no, Rom with a shovel, crashing stigma skull. Oh, wait. stigma, stigma, stigma. Oh. oh. I really don't know how to feel about all of this, I really don't know, as Rom continues to pound away on the broken face of Stigma. What the hell is Rom about to do? What? He's got a table. More weapons being used in this barbaric structure. The match that seals the fate of not just these two, but every single being, every single soul that's within this movement no mercy from Rob Bombuster just inflicting pain inflicting torture as he sets up stigma Oh no! Oh my! Oh! Stigma! Dive from the tree of woe! And now! Death from above doesn't connect! No! And now Stigma's the one that's telling Rom to bring it! As Rom goes for it, Stigma catches him! The original sin! Rom fighting back out of it! And Irish throws Stigma onto the opposite corner! And continues! to just bash his skull in with every ounce of strength that Rom has built throughout his career here in FAM and now he's gonna use it to finish off Stigma with the pedigree the pedigree from the top the same way he beat Rennick oh but Stigma has that scouted Stigma reverses as he flies to get out of it for all though Rom cuts Stigma Stigma's winning Stigma's winning no! Out. Stigma kicks out. I don't know how to feel. I really don't know how to feel. I'm going against my own brother here. Am I really? But can we feel? Oh no. I don't know. Oh, no. Rom has got the baseball bat. Rom's going to do the same thing the Stigma did to Wendy, to Guns, and to PH. Oh, and Stigma knocked it out alongside his brain cells. And Stigma goes for the karma injection. Oh, Rob kicked out! Oh, it's ironic. Rom has the sleeping pill, which means FAM would wake up. And Stigma has the karma injection, which might as well be called the lethal injection tonight, because he might actually be mercy killing FAM. Oh! Rom extinguishes the fire, only to feel the blood burn of the mat as he gets driven down. The offense, despite all the reversals, Stigma and Rom went back and forth. Rom was just one step ahead. And again, the cell structure. Rom picked it for a reason. He has experience on this. Stigma hasn't been here at all. And now he's gonna use his authority, his experience to his advantage. This is not again, this is not Rom Buster. This is a different side of my brother. I've never done I think! Society, side by side, with an FAM legend, the warriors of both sides uniting together against Rom. Who needs you? What cruel irony for Rom! Astigma finally fights back after escaping that hell. 
together with Rome. And finally, some sweet revenge from Stigma's side after tasting the steel so many times at the hands of Rom. I still can't believe that the cruel twist of fate for Rom Buster. FPM finally unites together against him. That was his quest ever since the beginning. He wanted to appear to be one family with no opposition. He is being outed of the family he was trying to create. And Stigma right now attempting to do the Angel of Death's work. But Rom is refusing that. Rom refuses to give up. Rom wants FAM to live on whatever form it takes shape in. Even if it means the freedom of the members. Even if it means the light turning into darkness. And this is what encompasses the whole night of Famniversary. This... Is this really going to happen? Rom ascending along with Stigma on top of the structure of Satan himself. And now these two are fighting amidst the walls. The Stigma grinds Rom's face, forcing Rom to lose balance. Oh no, no! Stigma, Stigma, what are you doing? Stigma, don't. That's still my brother. Please! Tell me you're okay, Rom. I don't want this to happen to you. Just let it go. Let it be him go. The stigma is gonna make sure that it's over. <laughs> Rom, you're up. Just stay down, stay down, Rom. No, no, Rom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. This is the last stand. Rom is not gonna go down without securing the future of FAM, no matter how bleak it is. Oh. It's like watching the angel of death and the devil fight on top of hell itself. Only I don't know which was the dark and which was the light. As their futures and everybody else's hangs on top of the heavens, on top of hell itself. Oh, he's going for a GTS, but Stigma! Stigma reverses! And Kennison would strike up the strike into a tombstone! No, wrong, wrong! Impale Stigma's skull! The people, they want their fame to live. But deep down inside, they know what's truly right at the end. They feel it. I like that stigma. This is what hell feels like. And we're not done yet. Rob. With a GTS. I've never been so conflicted in all my life. This is life or death for FAM. But what is really the right choice here? Oh, what's he setting up Stigma? Oh, what a kid spiking Stigma's head with a pile driver. I don't know what to say. You irrelevant bastard! 
want to avenge Andy Collins at BH. I know what Stigma did to them was brutal. But come on. This is not you. This isn't from Buster. And this isn't what FAM means to you. What it means to us. But Buster, please think logically. Think with your heart. You want to kill FAM? Okay. Not if I end you first! Rob... What are you doing? What the hell? What the hell are you going to do, Rob? What? No, 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 no! Don't do it! No, that! Not that, no! I am going to get rid of this cancer once and for all! Somebody stop him right now! Somebody! Rob, stop! Not this way! You'll never come back from this! Don't let the darkness win. If this is what needs to be done to save FAM, is it really worth saving? Dead. Just let me do get it over with. Oh no! Oh! Oh, Stigma! He hit him with the karma injection from the top of the cell! And now he's going for the original sin! Ah! Rom! Rom! Fighting out of that one too! Oh! No! Not again! Right down to the middle, to the core of FAM! The most sadistic of deja vu's! The stigma crawling as he seals the fate and sets us free! Kicked out! We were pulling for Rom to do this back at anniversary tree. We were cheering for Rom to be the hero. Our hearts were all on for your tenacity, Rom. You won't be cheering your name, but what you're doing, we don't want you to kick out. We don't. You're not the hero. Not tonight. Not in this story. Oh no. Rom has the baseball bat, the same weapon that destroyed the founders, is about to destroy stigma and the soul of FAM. Rom, please, don't, don't. Stigma delivers the death nail on my brother. It's over, Rob. You and FM are done. Finished. 
It's time for you to finally get what you deserve. Now get up. I'm sorry. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. We did it. No one will suffer at the hands of this place any longer. Bury your hatchets. Hold on to the people who mean something to you. And take them with you into your future. That's all that matters now. FAM has fallen. You're all free.
Thank you all for being here since 2009. Thank you. Thank you. Our journey has ended. Goodbye, my friends. Farewell, my family. How did I let this happen? Hey! Put that down.
What the f***? Not that their empire has fallen. What is the next operation you would like to attend to? Oh, legend. We're not down with forever movement yet. Not by a long shot. 